I am waiting for the chat box. Yes. Hello, everyone. Please inform me. Okay, so thank you very much. I got the information that everything is fine. So we are going to start the today's session. Yes, we are starting the today's session for the lower limb. Please inform your all the friends. Okay, sorry for the delay. Today there was a declaration, there was the result. Yes, FMG result came out and the result was very poor. So our cerebellum team was with the students and entire team was supporting the students so there was the one live session fine so this time all over country the only 10 percent passing result for which we all the teachers we all the team we are supporting the students that's why we did one live session just before this session okay so please please inform to all the students yes ms production hello beta how are you i'm i'm fine beta i'm fine so i think everything is okay so without delay now we are starting the session Yes, just like the yesterday session, we are going to talk regarding our lower limb session. I want to inform you, this is totally dedicated for the first MBBS students. We are going to discuss the theory point of view, university exams point of view. But also, if your theory is strong, you can crack each and every kind of the exam. So definitely it will be useful for the i 9 ct for the NEET PG, for the FMG students also. Okay, so in the two, approximately two hours, we are going to complete this lower hours session. Yes, lower limb session. So first, important questions of the lower limb. Are you looking for shortcut to success? So just see for the shortcut for the success. Long question. What are the important long question, beta? See here. Aapko femoral triangle. Yes, femoral hernia and femoral sheet, femoral canal. This topic is extremely important. It is having the integrated integration with the surgery. So you have to concentrate ye question, ye topic, beta. Every alternative year, short note, long note, mein aata hi hai. Now there is a femoral nerve and the clinical point you have to observe. Femoral nerve, obturator nerve, sciatic nerve. These are the three main important nerves which are asked usually in your exam. Okay. Now see here structure under cover of the gluteus maximus. Yes. Kal humne dekha tha, structure under cover of the deltoid, structure under cover of the trapezius was important. Today, structures under cover of the gluteus maximus is important. Yes, yes, MS production, I like your integrated explanation. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, MS production. Yes, Sham. Hello, beta. Please inform your all the friends. We are going to do the session. Yes, gluteus maximus. We are going to look the detail part of the gluteus maximus. Is better clinical importance of medius and minimus, especially the Trendelenburg sign. Ye aapke exam mein theory mein aata tha, aata hai, aata rahega. And also it will be asked in your clinical question, I N I C T NEET PG and FMG exam. Okay? Yes. Popliteal fossa is very very important topic just like the cubital fossa. So here you have a question. University is coming. Yes, cutaneous innervation of the leg and dorsum of the foot. This way you have hand the uh, dermatome padha. in the similar way the dermatome of the leg and the dorsum of the foot is very very important. Yes, venous drainage of the lower limb. I want to tell you in my college last year the first question 15 marks venous drainage of the lower limb, the great saphenous vein, the short saphenous vein, the perforator vein, you must know. Yes, then we have to look for the hour. Yes, hip joint and the knee joint and also we have to look for the arches of foot. Very, very important question. Yes, Ritesh, India now on the moon. So, this is a very good cover that our country has successfully launched kar chuka hai moon. Par. So, it is the very, very big news. So, it is very proud moment for all of us और सिर्फ हमारे लिए नहीं ये पूरे वर्ल्ड के लिए बहुत प्राउड मोमेंट है क्योंकि इससे जो जानकारियां मिलेगी वो पूरे देश के साथ साथ पूरे दुनिया के भी काम आएगी ओके सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट बेटा इतने से ही आपके लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आएंगे व्हाट आई वांट टू टेल यू 80% लॉन्ग नोट दे विल बी आस्क फ्रॉम दिस एरिया गेटिंग द पॉइंट यस एंड दिस ऑल द नोट्स आर 
मेड विद द प्रॉपर एनालिसिस तो बेटा आपके 80 परसेंट क्वेश्चन शॉर्ट नोट बिल्कुल यहीं से ही आएंगे तो हम इस तरीके से एनालिसिस करके आपको मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन दे रहे हैं और बाकी कोई क्वेश्चन आया तो बेटा आंसर शीट ब्लैंक नहीं करना अगर आपने आंसर शीट ब्लैंक की तो इस सिचुएशन में हम टीचर्स जो है नंबर दे ही नहीं पाते आपको कुछ ना कुछ रिलेवेंट चीज लिख करके आना है और वो जो थोड़े से भी नंबर मिलेंगे वो आपके लिए बहुत यूजफुल रहेंगे ओके यस शॉर्ट नोट हमको क्या क्या देखना है वी हैव टू लुक फॉर द एलियो टीबीएल ट्रैक्ट वी हैव टू लुक फॉर द फेमोरल शीट शॉर्ट नोट लॉन्ग नोट में भी आता है शॉर्ट नोट भी आएगा फेमोरल कैनाल फेमोरल हर्निया दिस आर इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेटरी नर्व इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फेमोरल नर्व इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट शियाटिक नर्व इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्री नर्व्स यू हैव टू स्टडी सार्टोरियस मसल अलग से आपका क्वेश्चन आएगा एडक्टर कैनाल सब सार्टोरियस कैनाल शॉर्ट नोट इज आस्क्ड ओके नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड डॉर्सल स्पेडिस आर्टरी शॉर्ट नोट इज इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली फॉर द सरफेस मार्किंग ओके यस Now try to understand. Yes, in future hypertrophic scar or keloid scar permanently cured hoga. Yes, beta R Y. There are the certain treatment in our surgery like the trimethylone injection, steroid injection by which it is cured. So, see, कई सारे modality है जो हम surgery में learn करेंगे. This is our anatomy session. Okay, beta. Yes. Now try to understand for this our peroneal muscle. Ritesh. Yes, we all agree. F M G का result इस साल पूरे all over India में बहुत बुरा आया है. लेकिन इन चीजों से हमको सीखना है और आगे के लिए अपनी स्ट्रेटजी क्लियर करनी है ओके शेर को एक लंबी छलांग लेने के लिए दो कदम पीछे हटना पड़ता तब वो लंबी छलांग लेता है और ये वही समय है ओके एंड वी ऑल द टीचर्स आर विथ यू फर्स्ट एमबीबीएस के भी बच्चों को जो भी चीज लगे तो यहां पर एनाटॉमी फिजियोलॉजी बायोकेमिस्ट्री के पूरे टीचर हैं और सीनियर टीचर्स भी आप लोगों के साथ हैं नाउ व्हाट आर द अदर क्वेश्चन एक्सटेंसर एंड फ्लेक्सर रेटिना केला के ऊपर शॉर्ट नोट आते हैं पॉपुलेटल मसल इज सेपरेट शॉर्ट नोट क्वेश्चन लेटर प्लांटर और मीडियल प्लांटर और समटाइम्स दे कैन बी आस्क लॉकिंग एंड अनलॉकिंग ऑफ द नी जॉइंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इसी तरीके से डेल्टॉइड और स्प्रिंग लिगामेंट के ऊपर क्वेश्चन आते हैं इनवर्जन एंड ई वर्जन ऑफ द फुट इज आस्क एंड द फुट ड्रॉप इज आस्क एवरीबॉडी गेटिंग द पॉइंट ओके तो इतनी सारी चीजें हैं जो हम इस सेशन में देखने जा रहे हैं एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट दीज आर द शॉर्टकट यस दीज आर द शॉर्टकट टू द पॉइंट लेकिन बेटा याद रखना इफ यू वांट टू अचीव द बेस्ट लेवल एट दैट टाइम यू हैव टू रिमेंबर सॉरी बट देयर इज नो शॉर्टकट टू सक्सेस ओनली वन थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इज हार्ड वर्क हार्ड वर्क हार्ड वर्क एंड यस we the teachers are guiding where you have to do the hard work so with this you can apply the shortcuts also okay chalo to shuru karte hain sir we are starting our lower limb part just like the upper limb session how to study the lower limb do you remember please watch our previous yesterday video humne dekha tha sir pectoral region back region scapular axilla then arm फोर आर एंड द हैंड इन द सिमिलर वे लोअर लिम को बेटा बहुत आसानी से हम समझ सकते हैं यस वी हैव टू लर्न द लोअर लिम अंडर द थ्री हेडिंग्स थाई देन लेग एंड देन फुट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दिस ऑल द स्टडी मटेरियल विल बी एवेलेबल एट द सेरी बेलम एप तो यहां पर आपको ये अवेलेबल मिलेगा यू कैन सी फ्रॉम देयर ओके सो यू कैन डाउनलोड अवर एप यू कैन कैच दिस things in our app so what i want to tell you sir how to study the lower limb first under the three heading thigh padhna hai leg padhna hai foot padhna hai then we will see the osteology part yes it is the practical part surgical landmark for the ortho in the surgery integration we have to do for the surface marking then we will learn the entry compartment of the thigh we will see the muscles we will do the practical point of view dissection also and the most important thing the femoral triangle femoral hernia this is a very very important question and yes clinical point har jagah aapko beta clinical zarur likhna hai again i want to tell you to crack the exam first mbbs students to crack the exam yes make proper headings make proper diagram how you can achieve the more and more marks yes make proper flow charts yes make द डिस्क्रिप्शन पॉइंट वाइज कभी भी बेटा ऐसे नहीं लिखना है एंड ऑलवेज 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 यूज प्रॉपर कलर कलर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द एनाटमी ओके और डेफिनेटली क्लिनिकल एंड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू हैव टू हाईलाइट सो दीज आर द योर पॉइंट हाउ यू कैन क्रैक द एग्जाम विथ द योर बेस्ट नॉलेज 
तो बेटा आप कभी भी आप एग्जाम लिखते हो तो इन चीजों को आपको फॉलो करना है तो अगर मान लो आपने कम भी पढ़ा है इन दैट सिचुएशन अगेन यू कैन क्रैक द एग्जाम विद द बेस्ट एंड बेस्ट मार्क्स यस यू विल गो फॉर द गोल्ड मेडल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बोन्स ऑफ द लोअर लिम सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू विद द प्रॉपर थ्री डायमेंशनल ओरिएंटेशन यस लुक हियर द थ्री डायमेंशनल ओरिएंटेशन सर just like the iron man just like the tony stark we are asking the our jarvis to inform about the bones so this is the our hip bone you can see the longest and strongest bone of our body this is the femur then here is the preaxial bone tibia and that is the our postaxial bone fibula you can see the patella patella is articulating in front of the femur and here you can see the our different foot bones we will talk regarding the foot bones in our yes arches of foot section okay so now we are going to look after this the important points so yes we are starting with the thigh try to understand sir thigh is having the three compartment okay sir just like the arm arm was having the anterior compartment posterior compartment agree sir but thigh is having the three compartment what are the three compartments sir this is our anterior compartment agree sir but here through the obturator foramen you will see sir this is our medial side it is our medial compartment and on the back side there will be the posterior compartment okay what i want to tell you again see here sir this is our lower limb here is the anterior compartment here you can see the medial side medial compartment and this is our posterior compartment three compartments in the thigh each compartment is having their own nerve you can apply the hilton law the nerve for the anterior compartment is femoral nerve so all the muscles of the anterior compartment they will be supplied by the femoral nerve the nerve of the medial compartment is obturator nerve which will come through the obturator foramen so all muscle at the medial side they will be supplied by the our obturator nerve and the posterior compartment is having the sciatic nerve getting the point so all the muscles of the posterior compartment they will be supplied by our sciatic nerve getting the point everybody okay so hope you all are getting this points beautifully i told you the three compartment and each compartment is having the one nerve one by one yes we are going to look for the five muscles of the anterior compartment tell me which is the nerve of the anterior compartment sir nerve of the anterior compartment is our femoral nerve okay so the femoral nerve will supply all the five muscles so what are the different five muscles try to understand one by one sir this is our anterior compartment of the thigh here is the longest muscle of the body sartorius so i am going to tell you the points regarding the sartorius sartorius ke upar beta short note aata hai sartorius it is taking origin origin from the asis anterior superior iliac spine ek point zarur yaad rakhna now it is the longest muscle of the body 45 cm in length yes it is getting insertion into the tibia on the medial side yes here is the hockey stick like insertion of the sartorius ek cheez yaad rakhna sartorius is getting insertion into the tibia at the upper part of the shaft you can say okay now origin insertion action sir it is crossing the hip joint from the front maine aapko ek rule bataya hai yes jidhar muscle udhar movement agar muscle elbow ko aage se cross kar rahi hai to jab ye contact karegi to aage move karegi it is crossing the hip joint from the front so it will cause front movement that is a flexion it is crossing the knee joint from the back side so it will move it will contract it will move the knee joint to the back side yes it is the flexion of the knee yes it is crossing the hip joint from the lateral side तो इसलिए बेटा जब ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करेगा तो ये फीमर को अवे ले जाएगा अवे मूवमेंट यस यू कैन से दिस इज द एबडक्शन एंड यस कैन यू जज इट्स डायरेक्शन बेटा ये लैटरल से मीडियल आ रहा है तो जब ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करेगा तो ये क्या करेगा इट विल रोटेट द थाई लैटरली सो इट इज अ लैटरल रोटेटर वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू ट्राई टू कैच दिस पॉइंट जब आप यहां फ्लेक्शन करेंगे यहां फ्लेक्शन करेंगे एबडक्ट करेंगे और उसके साथ में ये सर लेटरल रोटेट करेंगे तो ये पोजीशन कुछ और नहीं है सर दिस इज अवर पालथी पोजीशन गेटिंग द पॉइंट सार्टोरियस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द पालथी पोजीशन सर दिस मसल इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द 
what try to understand flexion at hip can you see it is responsible for the flexion at knee mcq it is the question from the neat pg recent question yes you can see this is the middle line of the body it is responsible for the away movement that is the abduction at the our hip joint and also you can see thigh is laterally directed so you will say lateral rotation and when we do all the movement ka combination karte hain, to we come to palthi position mein aa jate that's why this is the palthi muscle very important position this position is generally adopted by the old tailors yes that's why this is the tailors muscle one interesting question for all of you if I will come for the external examination in your college I will ask which muscle is known as honeymoon muscle remember the sartorius is known as the honeymoon muscle because when this muscle contract it will cause abduction ye kya karega beta hip joint ka abduction karega dono femur ko dur le jayega so there is the opening of the genital area so it will help in sexual intercourse that's why this muscle is known as honeymoon muscle getting the point agar aap sabhi ko samajh mein aa raha hai maza aa raha hai to bilkul chalo ho jaye clapping ho jaye fire ho jaye this all the things आपकी एनर्जी से मेरी एनर्जी बढ़ेगी मेरी कंटेंट बढ़ेंगे और मैं आपको और अच्छे से पढ़ाऊंगा तो चलो बेटा ये है टाइम अपनी एनर्जी दिखाने का नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लुक वन अनदर योर प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन योर वाइवा क्वेश्चन योर फैंसी क्वेश्चन ऐसे क्वेश्चन का आंसर करते हैं तो आप डेफिनेटली गोल्ड मेडल पाते हैं अच्छा एक बात बताइए विच इज द नर्व सप्लाई ऑफ द सार्टोरियस रिमेंबर द नर्व ऑफ द एंट्री कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द थाई कौन सी नर्व थी सर femoral nerve so femoral nerve will supply the sartorius muscle yes all the muscles of the anterior compartment supplied by nerve of the anterior compartment that is a femoral nerve हमने कल देखा था जो नदी जहां रहती है जहां बहती है उस एरिया को सप्लाई करती है जो नर्व जिस कंपार्टमेंट में रहती है जिस कंपार्टमेंट बहती है वहां के सारे मसल को सप्लाई करती है सो फीमोरल नर्व विल सप्लाई ऑल द मसल रिमेंबर फीमोरल नर्व इज हैविंग द टू डिवीजन प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन एंटीरियर डिवीजन एंड पोस्टीरियर डिवीजन यस कमेंट मी कमेंट मी एट द एट द कमेंट बॉक्स प्लीज कमेंट व्हिच इज द नर्व फॉर द सार्टोरियस यस एंटीरियर डिवीजन और पोस्टीरियर डिवीजन दिस इज द वेरी फेवरेट योर viva question okay sir so this is our sartorius muscle now see here sir there is our patella mcq short notes the short this is the, our seed like bone can you see this is the patella yes it is forming the knee joint this is the patella largest seed like bone sesamoid bone your patella beta iske upar short note aata hai main aapko kuch point bata raha hu bilkul yaad rakhna this is having the no medullary cavity it is not having the our periosteum no medullary cavity no periosteum no haversian canal Th three no you have to remember okay so this is our seed like bone is more one largest seed like bone of the body okay now try to understand kaha hi ossify hota hai the sismoid bone ossifies within the our yes long tendon so this is getting ossifies into the one ligament this is the ligamentum patelli ye jo ligament hai patella ko ossify karta hai yes it is our ligamentum patelli now how this ligamentum patelli is formed can you see it is formed by the union of the four muscle one this is our straight muscle at the femur rectus femoris can you see one interesting question sir this is having the bidirectional fiber this is our bipennant muscle remember one another very interesting question yes sir it is our rectus femoris now you can see the vastus lateralis vastus intermedius and vastus medialis so this is our vastus lateralis a question yaad rakhna this muscle is used for the vaccination in children in the infant in community medicine to beta yahan par chote bachcho ko injection lagaya jata hai vastus lateralis and can you see this is the vastus medialis remember beta one question this vastus medialis is the locking muscle sir anterior side mein jo hamara quadratus quadriceps femoris hai wo locking hai lekin usme ek answer chunna hai to recent textbook hamari bd chaurasia sir vishram singh sir book yes grey's anatomy they all are saying this vastus medialis is the locking muscle update for all of you aur in dono ke beech mein jo mil gayi ye hai hamari vastus intermedius getting the point to aap sabhi ko ye pata hona chahiye ki ye jo muscle hai sir these all are crossing the our yes knee joint from the front तो जब ये मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करेगी तो ये जो लेग है वो आगे आएगा और फुटबॉल को किक मारेगा सो रिमेंबर विच मसल इज नोन एज द फुटबॉलर्स मसल आंसर इज अवर यस दिस इज आल्सो नोन एज द kick muscle this is our quadriceps femoris it is having the forehead what are the different forehead sir rectus femoris sir vastus lateralis sir vastus medialis and next is vastus intermedius so these are our four muscles which are doing the 
footballers activity don't forget it yes sir these muscles are also you can say these muscles are locking muscle kyunki extension ye karega that's why it is a locking muscle aur locking muscle mein agar ek answer chunna hai to vastus medialis aapka single best answer hoga एग्री बेटा तो इतने पॉइंट आपको याद रखने हैं बार बार रिवाइज करना है यस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू डायसेक्शन ऑफ द फ्रंट ऑफ द थाई तो हमारा रूल है जैसे ही आप डायसेक्शन करोगे तो सबसे पहले क्या मिलेगा स्किन स्किन के बाद बेटा क्या मिलेगा सुपरफिशियल फेशिया सुपरफिशियल फेशिया के बाद क्या मिलेगा डीप फेशिया रिमेंबर बेटा द डीप फेशिया ऑफ द थाई इज नोन एज फेशिया लाटा और फिर इसके बाद आपको मसल्स मिलते हैं ओके okay? चलो so when we are doing the dissection on the front of the thigh you will see the certain very important structure at the lateral side of the thigh there is a lateral cutaneous nerve remember it is very very important question for the neat pg for the fmg student yes when there is a compression of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh it results in the meralgia parasthesia beta main fir se bol raha hu ye bahut important question hai the compression of the lateral cutaneous of the thigh it will result in the abnormal sensation on the lateral part of the thigh this is our meralgia parasthesia yes funny way mein hum dekhte hain mera le jia jia ai aur mera dil leke chali gayi kaise bhi ho is naam ko yaad rakhna meralgia parasthesia mera le jia jia ke upar kai sare gaane bane hue hain jaise ki jia dhadak dhadak jaye yes jaise ki jia o jia o kuch bol do are o dil ka parda khol do is jia ko yaad rakhiye aapko yaad hai kya kal humne cheralgia parasthesia padha tha yes upper limb mein tight wrist watch neuropathy salmon boy ko humne dekha tha kyun salmon boy aaj gaadi tera bhai chalayega wo loose wrist band pehnte hain why because there is the our yes radial nerve which is getting compression at the anatomical snub box which results in the tight wrist watch neuropathy also known as a cheralgia paresthesia but here we are learning the meralgia paresthesia it is very important short note getting the point everybody okay so yes now try to understand there is another nerve sir intermediate cutaneous nerve sir medial cutaneous nerve this all nerves are attached along the attachment of sartorius muscle direction and now this is the femoral triangle part so the roof of the femoral triangle these are formed by this structure to bolo beta roof of femoral triangle is formed by skin superficial fascia deep fascia here you will see one oval opening this is known as the saphenous opening yes sir the longest vein of the body the great saphenous vein mcq the longest vein of the body the great saphenous vein will come here it will pierce the cribriform fascia here aur beta ye femoral vein mein open ho jati hai yahan par ye teen vein receive karti hai ek do aur ye teen can you see what are these three different tributaries of the great saphenous vein sir these are our first superficial kyunki upar mein hai external because it is outside yes it is draining the genital area that's a pudendal vein here is a superficial epigastric vein because it is coming from the epigastric area and can you see there is the one more superficial yes sir it is winding that's why circumflex it is coming from the iliac bone area and yes it is the vein yes it is accompanied by the arteries also but you have to remember this structures also you can see here is the ilio inguinal nerve and the spermatic cord which are the content of the our inguinal canal to ye bhi beta roof mein aayega and very very important here is the our one cutaneous nerve femoral branch of the genito femoral nerve remember the girlfriend nerve our trick is the girlfriend nerve the nibby nerve first time bbs mein jo bachche hote hain to unko bahut zyada confusion hota hai itna zyada burden hai to funny way mein hamari ek story chalti hai first time bbs ke nibba nibbi ek funny tarike se aap yaad rakh sakte hain girlfriend nerve to girlfriend nerve kya hai genito femoral nerve iske do division hote hain one division which will supply the gen genital area that is the our genital branch of genito femoral nerve while the another will supply the femoral triangle part so this is the our femoral branch of the genito femoral nerve so remember this point yes pehle ka beta bahut important question the skin over the femoral triangle is supplied by answer is this gf nerve genito femoral nerve no excuse with this nerve okay hope you all are getting the point now see here the femoral triangle as i told you the most important portion in the lower limb that is a femoral triangle so what is happening sir and the upper one third how you will define first give the heading it is yes what you have to say 
एट अपर वन थर्ड ऑफ द थाई द ट्राई एंगुलर डिप्रेशन इज नोन एज फीमोरल ट्राइंगल डेफिनेशन इंट्रोडक्शन येस इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज ऑफ द फीमोरल हर्निया ओके सर नाउ इट्स अ बाउंड्री कैन यू सी द लैटर बाउंड्री इज फॉर्म बाय द मीडियल बॉर्डर ऑफ द सार्टोरियस द मीडियल बाउंड्री इज फॉर्म बाय द मीडियल बॉर्डर ऑफ द लेटर लॉन्गस रिमेंबर बेटा दोनों का मीडियल मीडियल है जनरली किसी भी फोसा में क्या होता है एक का लेटर होता है एक का मीडियल बट हियर यू टू से बोथ मीडियल मीडियल एंड द बेस इज फॉर्म बाय अवर एंगवाइनल लिगामेंट एंड Apex is directed downside while the base is directed upside. So easy. What are the different structures which are making the roof, sir? ये तो हमने पहले देख लिया. Skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia, which is known as the facial lata, and here are the many many structures which are making the roof. Great saphenous vein. You can say the three tributaries. You can say the genito femoral nerve. Complete. Now see here. What are the structures making the floor? तो इसके लिए बेटा एक निमोनिक. A P P I. एपीफ्यूज यू नो एक सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक आती है एप्पल जूस आती है एपीफ्यूज तो इसी तरीके से हम याद रखते हैं इसका फ्लोर कौन बना रहा है हमारा बढ़िया सा ट्रिक बढ़िया सा निमोनिक ए पी पी आई ए फॉर सर एडक्टर लॉन्गस पी फॉर पैक्टीनियस पी फॉर सॉस मेजर टेंडॉन एंड आई फॉर इलाइकस सो इजी अब इसी का बेटा एक सेक्शन है आपने फिमोरल ट्राइंगल को अपर पार्ट ऑफ द थाई को ट्रांसफर सेक्शन कट किया तो आप यहां पर देख रहे हैं ए पी पी आई करेक्ट और ये है आपका सार्टोरियस तो सार्टोरियस का मीडियल बॉर्डर और साथ में एडक्टर लॉन्गस का मीडियल बॉर्डर तो ये जो ट्रायंगल मस्कुलर डिप्रेशन आप हॉरिजॉन्टल सेक्शन में देख रहे हैं दिस इज अवर फीमोरल ट्रायंगल रूफ किससे बन रहा है फिर से रिपीट कर रहे हैं रिवीजन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन स्टडी सर स्कीन देन सुपरफिशियल फेशिया देन डी फेशिया ऑफ द थाई व्हिच इज नोन एज द फेशिया लाटा और इसमें आपको देखने के लिए मिल रहा है क्रिब्रिफॉर्म फेशिया गेटिंग द पॉइंट अब इसके कंटेंट की हम बात करते हैं तो मैं हर बच्चे को पहले ही पढ़ाते आ रहा हूं कि कंटेंट में आपको वी ए एन याद रखना है क्या आपको याद रखना है वी ए एन यस वैन दिस इज द न्यूरो वेस्टल बंडल सो कंटेंट्स आर द वेन फीमोरल वेन आर्टरी फीमोरल आर्टरी नर्व फीमोरल नर्व बट रिमेंबर दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर सो दीज आर कवर्ड विद द डीप फेशियम मॉडिफिकेशन अराउंड द फीमोरल वेसल्स दिस इज नोन एज द फीमोरल शीत Which structure is not the content of the femoral sheath? बेटा बिल्कुल नहीं बोलना femoral nerve is not the content. It is outside. सब का revision हो रहा है बेटा. Okay. So right now the many students are here. Yes, I want to know. I want to know the your college. आप में से कल कल की class में बेटा students जो थे वो India से थे, Gujarat से थे, South से थे, Andhra Pradesh से थे, Kerala से थे. Yes, students had been joined from the our yes Rims College. ओके यस सो हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स टुडे फ्रॉम द रिम्स कॉलेज आल्सो नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम द इंडिया द स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द नेपाल पाकिस्तान यूक्रेन आर्मेनिया कजाकिस्तान रशिया दे ऑल ज्वाइन सो आई वांट टू नो बेटर व्हाट इज योर व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ योर कॉलेज एंड व्हाट इज द डेट ऑफ योर एग्जाम प्लीज इन्फॉर्म मी वॉट इज द डेट ऑफ योर एग्जाम सो अकॉर्डिंग टू विच वी कैन मेक द मोर एंड मोर स्ट्रेटीज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके Yes. So right now, these are the our different structures. See here, beta. We are going to look for the our yes femoral sheath, femoral triangle. के बारे में हमने देखा. Femoral triangle अगर exam में आएगा तो क्या-क्या चीजें बतानी हैं, sir. First, femoral triangle. You have to give the definition. You have to say about the location. You have to say about the shape. Yes, define kiya. It is the up, uh, triangular muscular depression at the upper one third of the thigh. Location, definitely upper one third of the thigh. Entry one, uh, entry uh, part of the thigh. Shape, it is triangular in shape. Then you have to say about the boundary. Yes, you have to say about the boundary. So Snehal Doke, Snehal is from the Philippines. So very nice to know that students from the Philippines they are also joining us. Okay, Snehal. Please inform your all the friends so that we can make one healthy group and we can continue this sessions. Too much, okay? मुझको यहां पर लाइव में सौ बच्चे चाहिए सौ बच्चे आएंगे तब एनर्जी आएगी ओके सो यस इनफॉर्म यूर ऑल द फ्रेंड्स सौ बच्चे तो चाहिए ही चाहिए ओके सो नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बाउंड्री आपको बतानी है बाउंड्री के बाद में आपको क्या बताना है यस यू हैव टू से अबाउट द रूफ देन यू हैव टू से अबाउट द फ्लोर देन यू हैव टू से अबाउट द कंटेंट ओके नाउ विद इन द कंटेंट यू विल सी वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज द फीमोरल शीत सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द अवर फीमोरल शीत यस सर व्हाट इज द फीमोरल शीत द डीप फेशिया अराउंड द फीमोरल वेसल्स नोन एज फीमोरल शीत द डीप फेशिया अराउंड द फीमोरल वेसल्स नोन एज द फीमोरल शीत कैन यू सी दिस इज अवर फीमोरल आर्टरी यस सर हियर इज द एबडोमेन दिस इज द थाई सो फ्रॉम द एबडोमेन द अवर मसल 
yes structures are covered with the deep fascia fascia transversalis is coming from the abdomen and it is making the anterior wall while this is our iliacus muscle so there is a one fascia fascia iliaca is making the posterior wall so are you getting the point femoral vessels these are covered with the deep fascia and this deep fascia is having the two layers anterior wall is formed by the our fascia transversalis posterior wall is formed by the fascia iliaca suppose this is the femoral vessel so fascia transversalis and fascia iliaca they are covering all around getting the point so now they are making one enclosure around the femoral vessels yes it is known as the femoral sheath what you have to remember sir femoral sheath you can see here this one sir femoral sheath is having the two walls what i want to tell you sir femoral sheath is having the two walls what are the two walls you have to remember sir anterior wall and the posterior wall entry wall is formed by the fascia transversalis yes sir it is formed by the fascia transversalis while the posterior wall is formed by the fascia iliaca okay and in this way there is a formation of the femoral sheath can you see this diagrammatic presentation sir there are our femoral vein femoral artery and the femoral nerve is outside okay fine and the deep fascia modification around the femoral vessels this is known as femoral sheath in better way with the help of the practical can you see this one yes see here this is our practical part we are covering the practical this is our anterior superior iliac spine correct here is our external oblique aponeurosis the lower free margin of the external oblique aponeurosis sir this is known as inguinal ligament so can you tell me what should be the name of this muscle which is taking origin from the anterior superior spine and it is a ribbon like yes sir it is our longest muscle of the body sir it is our what sartorius practical we are covering the practical also and can you see the muscle at the medial side yes sir here is the muscle this is adductor longus then you can observe this is our pectineus you can observe the our very thin muscle sir it is our tendon of the sauce major and can you observe the muscle sir towards the ilium bone iliacus so what are these structures sir these are our yes a p p i a p a for adductor longus p for pectineus p for sauce major tendon and i for iliacus so these all are making the floor so you can say sir there is the triangular yes muscular depression <coughs> sorry at the upper one third of the thigh this is known as our femoral triangle getting the point yes is powder man this is for the first prop better but remember if your concept if your theory is strong definitely you can crack the your inict neat pg and fmg exams also so it, you can get the benefit quick revision for you in the two hours okay now try to catch this point sir this is our triangular depression so when we are doing dissection so such kind of the questions are asked in your neat pg exam okay so this is our femoral triangle part okay sir what are the content can you see there is a content vein then artery and then nerve okay sir so these are femoral vein femoral artery in the femoral nerve within the femoral triangle these are the our dissection part okay cadaveric image now can you see god told these structures are very important so we have to protect so god created one deep fascia modification around this femoral vessels yes so this deep fascia modification around the femoral vessel is known as femoral sheath yes sir it is femoral sheath so this is the very hit question which is not the content of the femoral sheath answer is the femoral nerve okay now observe 
द मीडियल मोस्ट कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द फिमोरल शीत सर दिस एंटायर स्ट्रक्चर इज अवर फिमोरल शीत बेटा कंफ्यूज नहीं होना वाइल द मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट इज जस्ट लाइक द टनल सो दिस मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द फिमोरल शीत इज नोन एज फिमोरल कैनाल ओके आगे समझो बेटा दिस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट द अपर फ्री मार्जिन ऑफ दिस फीमोरल कैनाल यस सर द अपर फ्री मार्जिन ऑफ दिस फीमोरल कैनाल इज नोन एज फीमोरल रिंग यस फीमोरल शीत का पार्ट कौन है फीमोरल कैनाल फीमोरल कैनाल के ऊपर में जो मार्जिन है यस सपोज दिस इज द अवर फीमोरल कैनाल सो द अपर मार्जिन ऑफ द फीमोरल कैनाल इज नोन एज द फीमोरल रिंग एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर This femoral ring is covered with the fat, what with the septa. So this septa is known as yes, this partition is known as femoral septa. And this femoral septa is not flat, but it will show the concavity due to the intra abdominal pressure. So, but this femoral septa, me, आपको एक गड्ढा मिलेगा. That is known as femoral fossa. Are you getting the point? When you will go for the surgery. फीमोरल हर्निया पार्ट यू विल गेट द टू मेनी टर्मिनोलॉजी यू विल गेट टू मेनी कंफ्यूजन बट इन एनॉटमी एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर बेटा वॉट इज द फीमोरल शीत अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज द कवरिंग अराउंड द फेमोरल वेसल्स रिमेंबर यू विल गेट द टू मेनी कंफ्यूजन फॉर द फेमोरल शीत फेमोरल कैनाल फेमोरल रिंग फेमोरल फोसा एंड द फीमोरल हर्निया यस कंफ्यूजन ही कंफ्यूजन है सॉल्यूशन कुछ पता नहीं सॉल्यूशन जो मिला तो साला क्वेश्चन क्या था पता नहीं यू नो द फरहान रैंचो एंड द राजू यस ऑल इज वेल सेरिवेलम है ना सो वी ऑल द टीचर्स आर विथ यू अगेन आई वांट टू टेल यू बेटर ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द कंफ्यूजन हियर सर वॉट इज द फीमोरल शीत समझो फीमोरल शीत कुछ नहीं है दिस इज द डीप फेशिया अराउंड द फीमोरल वेसल्स ओके सर क्या काम है प्रोटेक्शन नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज द फीमोरल कैनाल द मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द फीमोरल शीत ये जो मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट व्हाइट कलर का बना है ये कैनाल है ये टनल है ओके सर अब इस फीमोरल कैनाल का ऊपर में जो रिंग नजर आ रहा है दिस ब्लू कलर मार्जिन दिस इज योर फीमोरल रिंग नाउ हियर इज अ कवरिंग बाय द फैट तो फैट की जो कवरिंग होती है जो सेप्टा बनाती है जो पार्टीशन बनाती है सर दैट इज द अवर फीमोरल सेप्टा एंड वेन यू विल सी दिस फीमोरल सेप्टा इट विल नॉट एपियर फ्लैट ये चपटा नहीं है बल्कि आपको इसमें गड्ढा नजर आएगा क्यों बिकॉज ऑफ द इंट्रा एबोडोम प्रेशर सो दैट इज द फीमोरल फोसा सो इजी एवरीबडी गेटिंग द पॉइंट ओके नाउ आफ्टर दिस ऑल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द फर्दर मोर थिंग्स सर देर आर द चांसेस ऑफ द हर्निया येस लुक हियर एनी हर्निया What is the hernia? Abnormal protrusion of the viscera from one cavity to the other cavity, like from the abdomen into the thigh, like from the abdomen to the thorax. Viscera जो है वो एक cavity से दूसरे cavity में abnormally चली गई तो इसको हम क्या बोलते हैं hernia. Yes, any hernia is having the narrow part which is known as the neck. This diagram you have to draw. It is very important. Long note. Yes, the mass, the cavity is the sac. Yes, outside layers are covering. and there will be the many kind of the structures within the lumen within the cavity these are content okay ye intestine ho sakta hai ye vessels ho sakte hain so these are the four parts of the any hernia mass 1 2 3 and 4 getting the point okay now try to understand further sir we are going to look for the our yes this diagrammatic presentation Femoral sheath again describing it is having the two wall, anterior wall, posterior wall. Khatam. Sir, it is having the two margin, lateral margin, medial margin. Lateral margin is straight, medial margin is oblique. Khatam. Next, it is having the three compartment: medial compartment, intermediate compartment, lateral compartment. Medial compartment is is having the our uh, lymph node. These are the femoral lymph node. Yes, deep inguinal lymph node. This was studied by the Rosenmuller and Clockwood. So you will say the lymph node of the Rosenmuller and Clockwood. ये बहुत important point है. And yes, you will see intermediate compartment is having the femoral vein, while the lateral compartment is having the femoral artery along with the femoral branch of the genito femoral nerve. Now try to catch again this point, sir. This medial most compartment, this medial most compartment. which i am making the green color this is the femoral canal 
ओके सर एंड द अपर फ्री मार्जिन ऑफ दिस फीमोरल कैनाल सर दिस इज अवर फीमोरल रिंग गेटिंग द पॉइंट यस हियर इज द अवर फैट लेयर दैट इज द फीमोरल सेप्टा व्हिच विल शो द डिप्रेशन दैट इज द फीमोरल फोसा यस यू कैन सी द ग्रेट सेप्टनस वेन इज आल्सो कमिंग एंड इट विल ओपन विद इन द फीमोरल वेन सबको समझ में आ रहा है बेटा ये चीज आपके एग्जाम में जरूर आएगी Why this topic is important because of the clinical. Sometimes, especially in the female, due to the increase in intra-abdominal pressure, intestine की loop जो है, वो femoral canal से होकर के upper part of the thigh में आ जाते हैं. Sir, this is the femoral hernia. Can you see intestine loop? They are coming into the upper part of the thigh within the femoral triangle. तो बेटे ये femoral hernia इसलिए important है. Yes, what is the direction? तो बेटा याद रखना. It will go downward through the femoral canal. Forward through the cribriform fascia, then upward along with the three vessels. So, its direction downward, forward, and upward. What is surgery? If you are writing, then gold medal is going towards. Yes, so surgery is done. Yes, you have to perform the herniotomy, herniorraphy, hernioplasty. During that, you have to reduce. So, what is the direction of the hernia? It is downward, forward. Upward, इसके उल्टे डायरेक्शन में आपको इसको पुश करना पड़ेगा मीन्स डाउनवर्ड बैकवर्ड एंड देन अपवर्ड देन यू हैव टू सूचर दैट एरिया आपको वहां पर ग्राफ्ट रखना पड़ेगा और उसकी सर्जरी करनी पड़ेगी ओके सो यू विल सी इन योर सर्जरी पार्ट बट दिस फीमोरल हर्निया इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये फाइनल ईयर में आप फिर से पढ़ेंगे और इस फीमोरल हर्निया के कारण आपका ये फीमोरल ट्राइंगल बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके सो वी डिस्कस ऑल द एस्पेक्ट एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट सा एमसीक्यू आजकल फिलअप्स आते हैं यस yes, आजकल आपके एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन आते हैं तो उनके लिए कैन यू सी दिस इज द इंग्वाइनल लिगामेंट इट इज अटैच इन बिटवीन द आसिस एंट्री सुपेल स्पाइन एंड द प्यूबिक ट्यूबरकल लेकिन यही लिगामेंट जो है वो रिफ्लेक्ट होकर के पीछे चली जाती है और द पैक्टीनियल बोन सो दिस इज द पैक्टीनियल लिगामेंट एंड देयर इज द वन ट्रायंगुलर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द कनेक्टिव टिश्यू in between them so this is our lacunar ligament what you have to remember external oblique muscle iske teen modification your neat pg question your i ni ct question beta yes you can remember with the help of the mnemonic lip okay lip l for you can remember the lacunar ligament i for you can remember the inguinal ligament p for you can remember the pectineal लिगामेंट तो बेटे ये तीन चीजें अगर आप बताते हैं यस यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द गोल्ड मेडल दीज आर योर नीट पीजी लेवल क्वेश्चन गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो वी आर नॉट ओनली कवरिंग द फर्स्ट प्रॉफ पैटर्न वी आर आल्सो डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द नीट पीजी आई नाइस एंड द एफ एग्जाम्स एग्री नाउ वी आर लुकिंग फॉर द शॉर्ट नोट बेटा एक शॉर्ट नोट आता है ईलियो टीबीएल ट्रैक्ट के ऊपर सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ब्रेक द नेम एंड गेट द आइडिया सर इट इज एक्सटेंडिंग इन बिटवीन द ईलियम एंड इन बिटवीन द टीबिया एंड इट इज अ थिक बैंड ऑफ द फेशिया दैट्स अ इलियोटिबियल ट्रैक्ट कैन यू सी दिस इज द इलियोटिबियल ट्रैक्ट सर दिस इलियोटिबियल ट्रैक्ट इज हैविंग द टू एंड अपर एंड लोअर एंड यस द अपर एंड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द आवर इलियम बोन पार्ट इलियक क्रिश पार्ट ओके सर This is nothing. This is the thickening of the our facial atta with the three dimensional anatomy. I am showing you. Look here, sir. It is our lower limb part. In our lower limb, can you see? On the entry and the lateral side, the facial atta is getting thickened. Yes, this one. And this thickened band is in between the ilium and it is having the attachment. to the tibia so this is known as ilio tibial tract from the ilium to the tibia part that's why ilio tibial tract okay now what is the importance can you see this is having the attachment of the two muscle yes insertion of the tensor facial atta and the three fourth fiber of the gluteus maximus yes it is having the two end upper and lower end it is having the two muscle attachment tensor facial atta and gluteus maximus and you have to draw this diagram ye do number ke question mein short note mein aa sakta hai agree now look here identify the type of the muscle shown in the image below to ye aapka neat pg i n i c t ka pattern tha aur yahan par beta arrow tha iske upar so can you tell me sir it is a sartorius and it is having the parallel muscle fasciculi yes look with this th three dimensional orientation sir this is the our sartorius तो बेटा जब आप इसका डायसेक्शन करते हो तो देखो इसमें मसल फाइबर कैसे हैं क्या ये ऑब्लिक है 
yes unipinnate bipinnate no the fibers are parallel to each other so this muscle is our what remember this is our yes parallel muscle fasciculi so this is your answer here you will say the parallel now in the similar way <coughs> can you tell me flexion of the hip knee lateral rotation of the thigh abduction is done by which muscle marked in the image and there was the arrow over the a b c d so tell me what should be the answer in this question okay yes this is your question i am showing with the enlarging the image humne isko discuss kar liya hai tell me what is the answer here are the options okay now see here ek alag se beta question aata hai sub sartorial canal yes there is the question on the our hunter canal okay हंटर नाम का एक सर्जन था जिसने इसके बारे में स्टडी की थी उसने क्या कहा था यस द फीमोरल वेसल्स दे आर पासिंग थ्रू द जस्ट बिलो द सार्टोरियस मसल विद इन द वन नैरो पैसेज ओके यस अगर मान लो लोअर लिंब में कोई एक्सीडेंट हुआ वी हैव टू जस्ट एलिवेट दिस सार्टोरियस मसल देर आर द फीमोरल वेसल्स यू हैव टू लाइगेट देम एंड ब्लीडिंग विल बी प्रिवेंटेड सो दिस वॉज अवर वेरी वेरी फेमस हंटर ऑपरेशन Yes, it was our hunter operation. Getting the point? Okay. So this hunter operation is very, very, very important. Remember, it is just below the sartorius. That's why you will say sub sartorial canal. So try to understand. Define. This is triangular space. Yes, at the middle one third of the thigh. Fine. Where located? From the apex up to the hiatus magnus. It will start from the our apex of the femoral triangle and at the our hiatus magnus yes now see here we are cutting it transverse section of the thigh so can you see this is the our femur yes here is the our attachment of muscle sartorius sartorius is making the roof can you observe anteriorly there is the muscle which is bulky muscle vastus medialis it is making the anterolateral wall so it is anteriorly and laterally Why the posterior side? Can you see the posterior wall is formed by adductor longus posterior wall? Also, you can see the floor. Okay, sir. So roof is formed by the sartorius, the bunch of the vessels, nose, subsartorial plexus. Yes. So these are making the roof. Also, you can count the skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia. Yes. While the anterior and lateral wall is formed by the vastus medialis, while the posterior wall is formed by the adductor longus muscle. Itna kam se kam yaad rakhna hai. Okay. Now, what are the content? Definitely the most important femoral vein art and femoral artery. Sab chiz bhul jao. Lekin isko jaro yaad rakhoge. The femoral vein and the femoral artery they are content of the subsartorial canal. Getting the point? Yes. Remember the surgical aspect. You can lift the sartorius. You can find out the femoral artery and the vein. You can ligate it. You can prevent the bleeding. Or khun bahana rukega to kai sare patient ki jaan bachti hai. This is very famous surgery. Hunter operation. Getting the point? Also you will see the other content like the saphenous nerve which is the longest cutaneous nerve of the body. You will see the nerve to vastus medius and the entry in the posterior division of the obturator nerve. So simple. Now this is the another image. <coughs> can you see? The femoral vein. and the femoral artery the nerve which is crossing it this is our longest cutaneous nerve of the body sir it is our saphenous nerve also you can see the content the nerve to vastus medialis the anterior division of the obturator nerve and the posterior division of the obturator nerve so this is the another front view of the subsartorial canal and at the last you have to write down the clinical and that clinical point is our hunter operation so my dear sir ko fine agree चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक रिगार्डिंग द मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट एंड देन पोस्टर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द थाई सो मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट सो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर द मीडियल साइड ऑफ द थाई अगेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द थ्री डायमेंशनल एनाटॉमी कैन यू सी दिस इज लोअर लिम सर अभी हमने फ्रंट ऑफ द थाई देखा अब हम मीडियल साइड को देखते हैं तो मीडियल साइड को जब आप देखोगे तो यहां पर कौन कौन सी मसल चलो एक बार रिवाइज करो बेटा ये कौन सी मसल है सार्टोरियस सर दिस इज अवर यस rectus femoris vastus lateralis vastus intermedius vastus medialis getting the point okay now catch our more point ye medial side hai so this is one muscle taking origin from the pubic bone inserting into into the linea aspera ye linea obsera nahi hai ye linea aspera hai so when this muscle will 
contract it will pull the femur towards the middle line yes this middle line movement is known as the adduction ye adduction ka movement hai and this muscle is long that's a what you will say sir it is adductor longus okay next we are dissecting this muscle so you can see one another muscle which is yes a small so you will say adductor brevis and now i am showing you one another muscle which is very very big this muscle is very very big that's why you will say adductor magnus so your sequence how you can remember this muscles sir the sequence is lbm just like the lbw how is that cricket mein hum kehte hain lbw here you have to remember the lbm yes adductor longus adductor brevis adductor magnus longus means long this muscle is very long brevis means short it is small but adductor magnus is very 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 big muscle you can see this adductor magnus is extending up to here so this is our adductor magnus and also you can see one tendinous opening focus here sir there is a one opening this opening is known as hiatus magnus yes it is the landmark for the conversion of the femoral artery to the popliteal artery remember i will teach you the arterial supply of the lower limb the femoral artery will come it will go from here it will pass to the back side to beta ye aapki femoral artery ho jayegi aur ye popliteal artery ho jayegi don't forget the femoral artery passes through the hiatus magnus and then it is known as the popliteal artery okay so these are the points which you have to remember okay sir so add this medial side you will find out these muscles or medial compound beta sirf ek cheez padhni hai sirf ek cheez aapke university exam mein aayega aur wo obturator nerve you must study the obturator nerve i will describe the obturator nerve in the nerve section yes the origin insertion is not important for the theory yes you can study the origin and insertion for the purpose of your ऑस्ट्रियोलॉजी तो ऑस्ट्रियोलॉजी का डिस्कशन हम बाद में अलग से करेंगे बट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक रिगार्डिंग अवर ग्लूटियल रीजन सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एट द ग्लूटियल रीजन वन वेरी बिग मसल बोलो बेटा ये कौन सी मसल है ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस रिमेंबर द लार्जेस्ट मसल ऑफ द बॉडी इज द ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस नाउ वेन यू विल कट दिस ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस यू विल सी द ग्लूटियस मीडियस एंड बिलो द ग्लूटियस मीडियस यू विल सी द ग्लूटियस मिनिमस नाउ सी ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस कहाँ है सर इट इज ऑन द बैक साइड सो वेन दिस ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस विल कॉन्ट्रेक्ट येस इट विल कॉज extension of the hip remember the gluteus maximus is extensor of the hip joint but you can see the gluteus medius and minimus these are coming from the lateral side and getting insertion on the lateral side so when this muscle will contract they will cause yes abduction of the hip these will cause abduction of the hip so remember these muscles are our abductor getting the point everybody okay so you can see for your practical this is the largest muscle of the body sir it is our gluteus maximus and when you can see this image from your textbooks sir there is the same image the gluteus maximus is taking origin from the iliac crest outer lip it is taking origin from the adjacent surface of the sacrum it is taking origin from the adjacent surface of the coccyx it is taking origin from the our sacrotubular ligament and it is covering the hip joint from the back side and it is getting insertion three fourth fibers are getting insertion into the Ilio tibial tract, while the one fourth fibers are getting insertion into the gluteal tuberosity remember this is the question from the inict ms and the neat pg ओके okay, तो मैं फिर से आपको कह दूं अगर आपका फर्स्ट प्रॉफ स्ट्रांग है अगर आपका थ्योरी स्ट्रांग है तो बेटा दुनिया में चाहे वो एम्स हो चाहे आई नाई सी टी हो चाहे नीट पीजी हो चाहे नेक्स्ट हो चाहे एफ एम जी हो यू विल बी एबल टू क्रैक ओके अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट दिस ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस विद द हेल्प ऑफ द थ्री डायमेंशनल ओरिएंटेशन कैन यू चेक हियर सर दिस इज अवर पोस्टर साइड हाउ कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई क्योंकि यहां पर हमको सैक्रम नजर आ रहा है तो सर ये पोस्टर साइड है कैन यू सी दिस इज द अवर ये सर लार्जेस्ट मसल ऑफ द बॉडी ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस इट इज क्रॉसिंग द हिप जॉइंट फ्रॉम द बैक पीछे से जा रही है तो जब ये कॉन्ट्रेक्ट करेगी तो पीछे मूव करेगी ये सर इट इज अवर एक्सटेंसर नाउ कट दिस वन कैन यू सी दिस मसल सर इट इज टेकिंग ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द लेटरल एस्पेक्ट गेटिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन द ग्रेटर ट्रोकेंटर ऑन द लेटरल साइड सो वेन इट विल कॉन्ट्रेक्ट इट विल मूव द फीमर ऑन द लेटरल साइड जिधर मसल उधर मूवमेंट क्योंकि ये मसल लेटरली है तो ये लेटरल की तरफ जाएगी दिस इज द एबडक्शन नाउ कैन यू सी 
when we will cut this muscle you will see another muscle sir this is our gluteus minimus it will also cause abduction and along with this one more muscle sir this muscle is getting insertion into the our fascia lata also you can see the modification of the facial lata that is the iliotibial tract to so, beta ye jo muscle hai contact karegi to ye deep fascia of the thigh fascia lata ko tense karegi this muscle is responsible for the tension at the fascia lata that's why this is known as the tensor fascia lata it is the brother of the gluteus medius minimus yes remember that's why it is responsible for the abduction at the hip joint getting the point everybody okay hope you all are in understanding ओके, सो जस्ट फ्यू लाइंस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू अर्ज किया है रहने दे आसमां जमी की तलाश कर सब कुछ यही है कहीं और नहीं तलाश कर हर आरजू पूरी हो तो जीने का क्या मजा है जीने के लिए कम से कम एक कमी की तलाश कर एक कमी की तलाश कर याद रखो मेरे बच्चों कि जिंदगी में हर सभी की लाइफ में हम सभी के लाइफ में कुछ ना कुछ कमी होती है और उस कमी को पूरा करने के लिए हम शिद्दत के साथ भिड़े रहते हैं यस यू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आर आल्सो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जाम्स फॉर योर ड्रीम्स फॉर योर पेरेंट्स ड्रीम्स और एक दिन ऐसा आएगा कि आप इसे क्रैक करेंगे और वो जो खुशी होती है वो कहीं नहीं मिलती जो अपने हार्ड वर्क से मिलती है सो होप यू ऑल आर इंजॉइंग द सेशन अगर आप सभी को मजा आ रहा है जस्ट जस्ट गिव मी द थम्स अप जस्ट गिव मी द एनी काइंड ऑफ द इमोजी ओके बेटा चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं यस अल्लाह दत्ता एफ की हालत क्यों खराब है पाकिस्तान में भी यही हाल है यस बेटा एफ एम जी एग्जाम्स दे आर वेरी क्रूशियल ओके सो दैट्स वाई देर आर द प्रॉब्लम फाइन वी हैव टू इम्प्रूव द लेवल बिकॉज इन द फॉरेन कंट्रीज एज द इंडिया इज हैविंग द वेरी वेरी नाइस टीचिंग पैटर्न our education system and also in india and the pakistan i think uh, yes allah you allah that you are your the student from the pakistan there are the huge population so patients are more to beta patient jyada hote hain to is karan hum logo ka exposure jyada hota hai aur doctor ki jo skill hote hain bahut acche hote hain that's why the doctors of the india and the pakistan they are having the very very good knowledge okay but in the foreign countries there is a less population so <coughs> patients are less and also at the foreign countries the environment is very good I had taken the many classes at the Russia, Ukraine, Armenia, Kazakhstan. Environment is very healthy, so uh, diseases are very less. Also, population is very less. Also, there is the uh, health policies by the our government. Okay, so these there are the many factors by which the education system of the medical science is not too good in these countries in the FMG sectors. But India is having the very very strong education. That's why. okay so hope hope you are getting the point so now now we are going to look for the more muscles okay sir so when we will cut the gluteus maximus what are the different muscles which are visible to main aapko ye three dimensional mein show karta hu look here beta yes try to understand for this all the points sir this is the gluteus medius here is the gluteus minimus this is the tensor facial lata here is the iliotibial tract now you can see this muscle sir this muscle is having the wide end at one side pear shaped yes another end is narrow to beta ye pear shaped that's why this is the piriformis the structures under cover of the gluteus maximus now we are cutting this muscle can you see this muscle sir this muscle is coming from the inner side of the obturator foramen yes this is taking origin from the inner side of the obturator foramen and it is getting insertion into the our trochanteric fossa yes so this is obturator इंटरनस ये ऑप्टर इंटरनस है ऑप्टर फोरामेन के अंदर से आ रही है विच इज हैविंग द वन एंड टू मसल वन मसल एब अनदर मसल इज बिलो सो दीज आर अवर ये सुपीरियर गैमेलाई इन्फियर गैमेलाई नाउ कैन यू फोकस फॉर दिस मसल दिस मसल इज एग्जैक्टली क्वाड्रेंगुलर इन शेप और ये फीमर से अटैच है क्या नाम होगा सर क्वाड्रेटस फिमोरिस नाम होगा नाउ आफ्टर दिस ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर द सेम थिंग इन अवर theory textbook images can you see sir this is the shadow of the gluteus maximus 
यस सर यहां पर कौन था हमारा ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस था नाउ वी आर कटिंग दिस ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस एंड वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग द स्ट्रक्चर्स अंडर कवर ऑफ द ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस रिमेंबर दिस इज योर शॉर्ट नोट एज वेल एज लॉन्ग नोट व्हाट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर स्ट्रक्चर्स अंडर कवर ऑफ द ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस द फर्स्ट इज ग्लूटियस मीडियस another below to it there is a gluteus minimus can you see the pear shaped muscle one end is wide another end is narrow so pear shaped muscle piriformis can you see the obturator internus which is having the superior gamelai and inferior gamelai and you can observe the muscle which is quadrangular in shape so you will say quadratus femoris sir here is the ischial tuberosity the muscles very long muscles are taking origin from the ischial tuberosity that is known as a hamstring to ye bhi jo hai hamare structure under cover of the gluteus maximus mein aata hai yes gluteal tuberosity ischial tuberosity is also under cover of the gluteus maximus and here is our adductor magnus very very big muscle it is having the upper part which is under cover of gluteus maximus muscle getting the point so these are the our different structures under cover of the gluteus maximus yes you can solve the same thing this diagram you can practice yes you can observe sir this is the our hip joint there's a double arm cavity you can observe the gluteus maximus muscle agree sir now there is a pear shaped muscle you can say the piriformis this is the key muscle of the gluteal region iske upar se jo artery i that is known as superior gluteal artery whatever the nerve is running sir that is a superior gluteal nerve can you see structure under cover the gluteus maximus gluteus medius gluteus minimus and tensor fascia lata these all are supplied by the superior gluteal nerve and vessels very very important what i want to tell you remember how you will identify this superior gluteal nerve and vessels for the your practical exams remember beta that nerve and vessels above the piriformis that is our superior gluteal nerve and vessels correct sir these are supplying the gluteus medius minimus and tensor fascia lata no excuse bilkul yaad hona chahiye now below this our piriformis the inferior gluteal nerve and inferior gluteal vessels they are emerging these are supplying to the gluteus maximus bilkul nahi bolna hai practical ke liye ye bahut important hai agree everybody what you have to remember that inferior gluteal nerve and vessels supplying the gluteus maximus while the superior gluteal nerve and vessels they are supplying the our gluteus medius minimus and another is the tensor fascia lata these all structures are under cover of the gluteus maximus now you can see just below the piriformis you can observe the thickest nerve of the body sciatic nerve aapne ye draw kar diya then you can see the obturator internus with the superior gamelai and inferior gamelai which is known as a tricipital tendon now you can observe the obturator externus is also under cover yes adductor magnus is under cover as well as the biceps femoris and one cutaneous nerve is running which will supply the skin of the posh part iska kya naam hoga sir this is the posh cutaneous nerve of the thigh getting the point so these are your different structures under cover of the gluteus maximus no excuse very important for the lower limb now see here again what i want to tell you kal humne upper limb ka session kiya 80% question beta kal ke session se aayenge jo hardly i think humne uh, 2 hours 50 30 minutes humne liye approximately 40 minutes humne liye yahi se beta aapke 80% question aayenge and in the similar way today we are going to cover the lower limb aapke 80% topics yahi se hi aayenge ye humne proper analysis karke banaya hua hai so focus here we are looking the gluteal region and we are cutting our muscle can you see this is the gluteus maximus aapne beta gluteus maximus ko cut kar diya yes this was the attachment actually the gluteus maximus yahan par attached tha but we are cutting this gluteus maximus and now we are looking the structure under cover of the gluteus maximus so you can say there is our gluteus medius muscle is observed okay sir gluteus minimus is under cover of this gluteus medius and there is a one muscle which is responsible for the tension over the fascia lata that is a tensor fascia lata muscle this is also under cover now you can see there is our pear shaped muscle piriformis yes sir one end is narrow another end is wide piriformis now focus here beta that our superior gluteal nerve and vessels yes sir 
the superior gluteal nerve and vessels they are supplying the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus and the tensor fascia lata so this piriformis muscle is helping in the identification of this nerve that's why this is known as piriformis key muscle iske upar jo bhi nerve nikla superior gluteal nerve and vessels kehna iske niche jo bhi nerve and vessels nikle usko inferior gluteal nerve and vessels kehna yes it is going to supply the gluteus maximus very important question yes along the lower border what is the nerve yes the thickest nerve of the body jo bhi dikha usko bol dena tum sciatic nerve ho the thickest nerve of the body the sciatic nerve it emerges just along the lower border of piriformis muscle iske medially yes you can see the medially there is a posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh okay so these all structures are under cover of the gluteus maximus you can see the obturator internus yes sir above it superior gamelai below it inferior gamelai and definitely there is our quadratus of femoris muscle yes under cover of the gluteus maximus you can see the bony part ischial tuberosity from where the hamstring muscles are taking origin i will teach you separately agree beta also you can see there are the one two three important structures for concentrate here you can remember the mnemonic the p for pudendal nerve i for internal pudendal vessels and n for nerve to obturator internus so this is your mnemonic pin yes ye pin karke structure hai which are coming from the greater sciatic notch hooking the ischial spine and then inserting they are going to the our laser sciatic notch so it is very important structure p i n P for again I am repeating pudendal nerve, I for internal pudendal artery and vein, yes vessels you can say and N for nerve to obturator internus. So these are the very 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 important structures which you have to remember. Agree better? Getting the point? Okay. So now look here. Sometimes there is the enumerate. there is a question for the two marks okay enumerate the structures passing through the greater sciatic notch passing through the laser sciatic notch and structures passing from the greater sciatic notch to the laser sciatic notch so just see the diagrammatic presentation sir it is our yes greater trochanter and the laser trochanter correct you can see within the greater trochanter there is a one muscle what is the name of this muscle sir this is our yes pier shaped muscle piriformis correct sir remember there is our greater sciatic notch yes sir there is our greater sciatic notch so what are the structures which are passing through the greater sciatic notch which is also known as the gateway of the gluteal region jaise ki gateway of india wahan se entry kiye the foreigner india country mein waise hi gateway of the gluteal region the many structures comes out through this gateway yes so what are the different structure sir piriformis okay sir sir superior gluteal nerve and vessels okay sir just along the lower border you can see the inferior gluteal nerve and vessels correct sir also you can see the sciatic nerve the thickest nerve of the body is coming out yes here you can see along with the sciatic nerve nerve to quadratus femoris and posterior cutis nerve of the thigh they are coming correct sir fine so these are the our different structures also you can see the our obturator internus with two gamelai so these all are the structures fine now you can observe the pin to right now i told you pudendal nerve internal pudendal vessels and nerve to obturator internus so p i n you can add the t o also yes pudendal nerve internal pudendal vessels nerve to obturator internus and then tendon of the obturator internus okay so these are the points which you can remember also you can focus the pin also तो ये जो पिन स्ट्रक्चर ये ग्रेटर शियाटिक नॉट से निकले ओके ग्रेटर शियाटिक फोरामेन से निकले ग्रेटर शियाटिक नॉट से निकले देन दे आर हुकिंग द स्टील स्पाइन और फिर वो लेजर शियाटिक नॉच में चले गए यस लेजर शियाटिक नॉच ओनली थ्री स्ट्रक्चर्स पिन यस यू कैन रिमेंबर द पी फॉर पोडेंडल नर्व आई फॉर इंटरनल पोडेंडल वेसल्स एंड एन फॉर नर्व टू ऑप्शेंट इंटरनस ग्रेटर शियाटिक नॉच से सारी चीजें निकलती है बट दीज थ्री स्ट्रक्चर्स दे आर कमिंग थ्रू द अवर yes you can remember the greater sciatic notch and then entering into the laser sciatic notch so in the laser sciatic notch only three structures and remember over the ischial spine this is very very important nerve this very very important nerve that is the our pudendal nerve yes so for this pudendal nerve you must know the pudendal nerve block 
so this pudendal nerve block is very very important situation which you will learn in ops gyne i want to show you in three dimensional way look here beta sir this is the our hip bone yes sir it is our hip bone so in the hip bone can you see sir this is our greater sciatic notch sir here is our laser sciatic notch and this is the ischial spine humne abhi dekha the structure passing through this greater sciatic notch yes piriformis superior gluteal nerve superior gluteal vessel inferior gluteal nerve and vessels yes we had seen the obturator internus with the two gamelai the sciatic nerve the posterior nerve of the thigh the nerve to quadriceps femoris so on and the pin the pudendal nerve internal pudendal vessels and nerve to obturator internus these all are coming out then they are hooking this ischial spine then they are entering here in the laser sciatic notch तो बेटा लेजर शियाटिक नॉच से सिर्फ तीन स्ट्रक्चर जाते हैं यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द पी आई एन ओके एंड व्हाट आर द स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हिच आर हुकिंग ओवर दिस स्टील स्पाइन अगेन आंसर इज द पी आई एन ओके सो इन ऑफ गाइनी व्हेन यू विल डू द बेबी डिलीवरी यस बेबी डिलीवरी इज डन बेबी डिलीवरी क्लिनिकल इंटीग्रेशन सर बेबी डिलीवरी इज डन थ्रू द आवर यस दिस पोर्शन दिस इज द आवर pelvic outlet fine so at that time you have to do desensitization you have to give the block to the pudendal nerve you have to anesthetize to the pudendal nerve we all know sir pudendal nerve is lying over this our ischial spine so you will do the per vaginal examination you will go to the lateral side you will feel this bony process and as this bony process is felt anatomy is saying over this pudendal nerve is lying so give the anesthetic agent over here this nerve will get desensitized and now you can perform the genito urinary surgery samajh mein aa raha hai beta sabko fine now try to catch the further more points okay sir now you can see there is the our anatomy medicine pedia and ortho integration beta agar aapka anatomy strong hoga to har subject strong hoga in medicine you will see the duchenne muscular dystrophy where the gower sign is positive in this situation you will observe certain condition like sir you will ask in the pedia department to stand the baby can you see yes ye bacche ko aapne khada hone ke liye kaha ye bachcha kaise khada ho raha hai can you see he is supporting the ground then he is supporting the knee leg knee then thigh and climbing himself and once he is getting stand up there is a no need of the support this is known as gower sign positive which is found in case of the duchenne muscular dystrophy you will learn in the medicine pedia now try to understand which muscle is involved sir there is a one muscle which is on the back side when this muscle will contract there is the extension of the hip can you see this is causing the extension angle is increasing so which muscle is causing the extension which is located at the back answer is the gluteus maximus agree beta so remember in this our duchenne muscular dystrophy the gluteus maximus is paralyzed the our inferior gluteal nerve and vessels yes inferior gluteal nerve is involved the gluteus maximus is dystrophied that's why gower sign is positive beta ye अंडरस्टैंडिंग जब आप क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट पढ़ोगे तो उस समय आएगी उस समय आपको एनाटॉमी का ये सीन याद आएगा ओके नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दे इज अ ट्रेंडल एंड बर्ग साइन रिमेंबर व्हेन वी आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन वन लेग एट दैट टाइम द ग्लूटियस मीडियस मिनिमस एंड टेंसर फेशियल आर ऑफ द सेम साइड दे आर कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग तो बेटा वो उसी साइड के पेल्विक बोन को सेक्रम बोन को अपनी तरफ खींचते हैं दे आर पुलिंग द ऑपोजिट साइड हिप बोन towards the same side okay ab is karan kya hota hai the anterior superior spine will get elevation okay sir but if there is a paralysis of this muscle there is no pulling no pulling so ascis anterior superior spine of the opposite side it is coming down this is known as a trendelenburg sign getting the point what i want to tell you remember this is very useful for the proper gait jab hum chalte hain aapko lag nahi raha ki ye chal raha hai यस yes, जब हम चलते हैं तो हमारा वेट जो है यस आवर एंटायर बॉडी वेट इज कमिंग एट वन लिम सो एट दैट टाइम द ऑपोजिट ए एस आई एस यू कैन डू द ऑपोजिट ए एस आई एस इट इज गेटिंग लिफ्ट ओके सर बट इफ देर इज डैमेज द ऑपोजिट ए एस आई एस विल गो डाउन यस दिस इज अवर पॉजिटिव ट्रेंड लग साइन एंड रिमेंबर वेन दर इज अ यूनिलेटरल एबनॉर्मलिटी सो वेन द पर्सन विल वॉक तो नॉर्मली एबडक्शन होता है तो हम प्रॉपर चल पाते हैं बट इफ दिस डैमेज वॉट विल हैपन देर इज दैगिंग ऑफ द पेलविस नाउ द पर्सन विल वॉक in this way in this way 
getting the point this is known as lurching gait getting the point yes the famous our mahabharat character shakuni mama was having the lurching gait and this is very important for your ortho so remember this will be useful for the, your different clinics uh, clinical subject that's why you have to make the anatomy strong and please recall that famous dialogue what you have to remember sir this very very famous dialogue yes mere bachcho maine kaha tha na 18 subject padhne se pehle anatomy padha jata hai so remember this famous dialogue mere bachche maine kaha tha na ran bhumi mein khelne se pehle mano bhumi mein khela jata hai so this is a very 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 important integration this point you will get in your clinical subject the shakuni mama gate better to say the yes lurching gate remember this lurching gait is found due to the damage in our yes you can say the superior gluteal nerve and vessels gluteus medius minimus and tensor fascia lata paralysis but when there is a bilateral damage then the patient will walk with the lurching on both side sir it is our waddling gait so remember the waddling gait in easy way you can understand the donald duck gait jab batak chalta hai to wo right left right left dono taraf waddle karta hai so this is the waddling gait in case of the bilateral paralysis okay sir now can you solve this question from the aims inict november 2020 22 in trendenburg gait which muscles are involved option a gluteus maximus medius and gluteus minimus option b gluteus medius minimus and tensor fascia lata yes option c gluteus minimus tensor fascia lata and piriformis option d all are correct so comment at the answer this is the question for all of you now look up here for the next part remember the famous quotation by albert einstein everybody is genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid beta aaj bhi hamare bachcho ke exam ke paper result aaye hain pure country mein fmg ka result sirf 10% raha hai yes lekin yaad rakhiye kisi ek exam se hum apni ability ko clear nahi decide kar sakte ye exam puri tarike se hum aisa nahi keh sakte ki aap kitna jante kitna nahi jante ho but yes we have to pass this all the formalities for the our degree so we are studying aur yaad rakhiye agar exam nahi hote to hum thodi padhte exam ka dar hi to hai jo humko padhne ke liye majboor karta hai okay so definitely it will it is very useful time for all of us पढ़िए नॉलेज को गेन कीजिए लेकिन कभी भी ऐसा नहीं सोचिए कि जो एग्जाम के मार्क्स हैं वो ही आपके टैलेंट को डिसाइड करते हैं ओके सो नाउ वी आर कमिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक रिगार्डिंग द बैक ऑफ द थाई पॉपुलेटल फोसा यस अभी तक बेटा बहुत समय हो गया मैंने कोई भी कमेंट नहीं पाया सो सो प्लीज 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 कमेंट हियर ब्यूटिफुल कमेंट्स इफ विल कम देन आई विल डू मोर एंड मोर मोर एंड मोर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके बेटा होप आप सभी को मजा आ रहा होगा ओके यस सो व्हाट आई वांट टू टेल यू वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक रिगार्डिंग द बैक ऑफ द थाई कैन यू सी दिस इज द ग्लूटियल रीजन जहां से ग्लूटियस मैक्सिमस निकला था कैसे पहचानेंगे विद द हेल्प ऑफ द सैक्रम बट दिस इज दवर स्टील ट्यूब्रोसिटी द लॉन्ग मसल्स आर टेकिंग ओरिजिन फ्रॉम द स्टील ट्यूब्रोसिटी दिस इज नोन एज ग्लूटियस यस दिस इज नोन एज हैमस्ट्रिंग मसल सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कैच दिस पॉइंट सर दिस इज आवर यस हिप बोन सो इन द हिप बोन capture here gluteus maximus okay sir can you see these muscles these are the very long muscle which are taking origin from the ischial tuberosity okay sir these are hamstring muscles these all muscles are getting insertion into the leg bone yes these all are having the same nerve supply sciatic nerve tibial part these all are helping in the running activity so these muscles which are having the same origin same insertion same nerve supply same action these are known as the hamstring muscle short note for all of you can you see the first muscle it is having the two head yes it is long head and here is a short head so remember the long and short head sir these are getting insertion into the leg bone so this is the first hamstring muscle can you see after this this another muscle sir it is having the half muscle and half tendon in nature this is semi tendinous muscle so this is the second muscle now another muscle 
All muscles are taking origin from the ischial tuberous artery, getting insertion into the leg bone. It is half membrane like in appearance. So, this is our semi membranosus. Yes, sir, it is our semi membranosus. And can you see this is the one very big muscle which is responsible for the adduction. The part which is taking origin from the ischial tuberous artery and going to take insertion into the tibia as tibial collateral ligament. Yes, this is our ischial head of the adductor magnus. So, I told you the four muscles again. The origin for the first year students, see here beta, this is our ischial tuberosity, correct sir. The horizontal line is dividing into the upper part and the lower part, correct sir. The upper part is again divided by the oblique ridge into the two part. Sir, this is our superior and lateral part, suprolateral part, which gives origin to the semimembranosus. And here is the our inframedial part, which is giving origin to the semi tendinosus and long of the biceps femoris. Okay. Yes, team Clay Johnson. Ha, sir, maja aara hai. Bas beta. आप लोग की यही कमेंट चाहिए आप लोग को मजा आएगा तभी तो हम टीचर लोगों की एनर्जी जो है हम टीचर लोगों का जो नॉलेज है वो आप लोगों के लिए यूजफुल रहेगा सो योर कमेंट्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट यस प्लीज प्लीज मेक योर ऑल द कमेंट्स ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर द मोर थिंग्स फाइन Fine. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. So now we are going to see this transverse elevation is dividing the ischial tuberosity into the yes upper and lower part. Lower part is again divided by the vertical ridge into the lateral and the medial part. Remember the infralateral part is giving origin to the adductor magnus ischial head while this inframedial part it is having no muscular attachment actually here is the our fat and bursa and whenever there is the bursa there is the chances of the inflammation bursitis so inflammation of this ischial bursa is known as the ischial bursitis which is commonly seen in the weavers so this is a clinical beta weavers bottom you have to learn getting the point yes sir there is our weavers bottom now catch here the runner's muscle Yes, sir. These all muscles are taking origin from the ischial tuberosity and getting insertion into the leg bone. So, when these muscles contract, karenge, sir, there is an increase in the angle of the hip joint and there is a decrease in the angle of the knee joint. So, this is known as running activity. What I want to tell you, these muscles are coming from the back, inserting on the back. So, when you contract, karenge, to ye kya karega, sir? it will cause extension at the hip, flexion at the knee. So, it is helping in the running position. So, remember, these muscles are known as the runner's muscle, hamstring muscle. Yes. Now, remember, there is a clinical integration in the runners or any sport person who are running so much. Sometimes they are getting spasm and they are holding the back of the thigh. Yes, you know, the India-South Africa test match. I think before four or five months, Rohit Sharma got the hamstringing. Yes, this is the hamstring injury. The hamstring muscles, four muscles. Long head of the biceps femoris, semi tendinosus, semi membranosus, and ischial head of the adductor magnus. You all must know. Okay. Now, see here, I told you the weavers bottom. Jo kapde silne wale hote hain, weavers hote hain, they are sitting for the very long time and they are getting inflammation of the ischial bursa. Ischial bursitis is known as the weavers bottom. Now, come down. At the downside, you will see rhomboid shaped space just behind the our knee joint. This is known as the popliteal fossa. Okay, sir. So, this popliteal fossa, you can observe here, sir. This is our rhomboid shape space. So, what are the boundaries? Sir, suprolateral boundaries formed by the long head of the biceps femoris. Sir, supromedial boundaries formed by the semi tendinosus and semi membranosus. Sir, inframedial boundary is formed by the, yes, infro lateral boundary is formed by the lateral head of the gastronomius and inframedial boundary is formed by the medial head of the gastronomius so these are the boundaries easily you can remember how you can define the our popliteal fossa sir this is the rhomboid shape space just behind the knee joint first point second point it is homologous to the cubital fossa okay sir now can you see the roof is formed by again sir always answer is skin superficial fascia deep fascia yes 
पुष्पिता चौधरी थैंक यू बेटा सर आई एम पोस्ट इंस्टेंट वॉचिंग दिस बेस्ट एनाटॉमी लेक्चर एवर थैंक यू पुष्पिता दिस सेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी यूजफुल फॉर द आई एन सी टी नेट पी जी यस सो थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस इन्फॉर्म योर फ्रेंड्स एंड मेक अ हेल्थी ग्रुप वी विल डू मोर सच कांड ऑफ द सेशन what i want to tell you always the roof of the anatomical snub boss or triangles of the neck or the femoral triangle or the popliteal fossa all are formed by skin superficial fascia deep fascia always remember the superficial fascia is having the cutaneous nerve and vessels so what are the cutaneous nerve and vessels here can you see the short saphenous vein one can you see the nerve which is on the lateral side so you will say fibular communicating nerve or peroneal communicating nerve can you see one nerve is running posteriorly so this is the our posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh also one nerve is medially so you can say medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh more specifically posterior division of the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh to ek bolna hai lateral side fibular side ओके सर एक बोलना है मीडियल साइड ओके सर एक बोलना है पोस्टर साइड यस मीडियल लैटर पोस्टीरियर एंड डेफिनेटली द शॉर्ट सेफनस वेन नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर टीम क्ले जेसन ई सेइंग सर आई हैव यूज्ड मैरो फॉर एनाटॉमी बट सडन ऑफ नाउ योर आई फाउंड योर लाइव सेशन हियर एंड नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम गोन रिफर योर एनाटॉमी लेक्चर्स टू ऑल माई जूनियर्स थैंक यू team clay jensen i want to inform you all the platforms are best all the teachers are best we are putting our maximum effort it is only meant for the resonance okay chahe koi bhi platform ho to beta wahan par har teacher apna best karta hai kisi bacche ko hamara samajh mein aata hai kisi bacche ko unka samajh mein aata hai every teacher is best and every student is best sirf ek tuning ki zarurat padti hai आपकी ट्यूनिंग मेरे साथ जम गई तो आप मेरे लिए बेस्ट स्टूडेंट हो गए और मैं आपके लिए बेस्ट टीचर हो गया थैंक यू फॉर योर वर्ड्स प्लीज इन्फॉर्म योर ऑल द फ्रेंड्स हु वांट टू ज्वाइन ज्वाइन वी आर जस्ट डूइंग दिस सेशन न्यू स्पेशली फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बीबीएस स्टूडेंट लेकिन ये आई नाई नीट पी एफएमजी सबके लिए यूजफुल रहेगा अगर आप लोगों को पसंद आएगा तो हम ऐसे सेशन करते जाएंगे एनाटॉमी सेशन बाय मी द फिजियोलॉजी सेशन बाय डॉक्टर पूजा निगाने मैम एंड द बायो केमिस्ट्री मैम बायो केमिस्ट्री सेशन बाय डॉक्टर इस्माइली मैम सो वी ऑल आर डूइंग द लॉर्ड्स ऑफ एफर्ट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू फॉर योर पॉजिटिव कमेंट्स ओके यस अल्लाह देता सर लव यू सो मच थैंक यू फॉर योर लव एंड रिस्पेक्ट थैंक यू बेटा वी वेलकम टू ऑल द पाकिस्तानी स्टूडेंट्स नेपाली स्टूडेंट्स आर्मेनिया कजाकिस्तान रशिया स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वार्म वेलकम थैंक यू फॉर योर लवली वर्ड्स ओके चलिए नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक रिगार्डिंग द कंटेंट सो हियर इज वन वेरी स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट फॉर द फर्स्ट एम स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू सी द शियाटिक नर्व सर शियाटिक नर्व विल कम फ्रॉम द टॉप साइड यस सर द शियाटिक नर्व इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द टॉप एंड नाउ दिस इज डिवाइडिंग इन द our one division which is running from superior angle to the inferior angle this is the tbl nerve yes sir it is tbl nerve while the another nerve is running from superior angle towards the our lateral angle sir this is our common peroneal nerve so these are the content also you can see the vein and artery yes so remember what are the different content sir contents are our nerve vein and artery so here the sequence is can you see a v n at the upper part the sequence is the artery vein nerve at the middle part can you see artery is deep then vein and then nerve so again at the middle part the sequence is a v n but remember it is from deep to the superficial here is our relation from medial to lateral side but at the down side at the lower side the relation is again a then v and then n but this relation is from the our yes lateral to medial what i want to tell you this is very rare structure of the body very rare fossa where relation is not the v a n but it is a v n pehla question yes upper one third middle one third lower one third at the upper one third the relation is the avn artery which artery popliteal artery vein which vein popliteal vein and the nerve which nerve tbl nerve these relations are from the our medial to the lateral side okay sir but at the middle the avn artery vein and the nerve it is from deep to the superficial and then at the lower part the relation is the avn yes remember from the lateral to the medial side okay now clinical 
सर पॉपलिटियल आर्टरी एन्यूरिज्म इज वेरी कॉमनली सीन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन क्लिनिकल यू कैन पॉलपेट द पॉपलिटियल आर्टरी हियर इफ इट इज नॉट पॉलपेबल मींस देयर इज अ ब्लॉकेज यस यू मस्ट रिमेंबर पॉपलिटियल आर्टरी पॉलपेशन इज नॉट इजी व्हाई एनाटॉमी विल से यू बिकॉज़ द आर्टरी इज डिपेस्ड सो इट इज नॉट सो इजी टू पॉलपेट ओके इट रिक्वायर्स लिटिल मोर प्रैक्टिस फाइन सर in your medicine harrison you will see the baker's cyst it occurs in the our popliteal fossa so these are the different point also remember popliteal artery can be used for the blood pressure measurement so just like the cubital fossa this popliteal fossa is also very 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 important agree beta hope you all are getting the point okay now what are the other contents sir popliteal lymph nodes are also content and the fat is there now look here sir floor floor is formed by you can see this diagram floor is formed by easily you can observe the fat over the popliteal surface second lymph node third the knee joint capsule and the fourth is our popliteal muscle with the popliteal fascia so you can count this structure 1 2 3 4 yes there is a gap okay But you you can remove this gap okay you don't mug up that gap for the your um theory exam four so these are the your structures at the floor of the popliteal fossa now yes if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you to beta agar koi cheez aapko chunauti deti hai tab aapke andar changes aate hain you will win in that situation yes sir now we are going to look for the nerves of the lower limb short note this questions are asked okay beta now try to understand here sir just like the our plexus yes brachial plexus here we are going to talk regarding the lumbar plexus lumbar plexus it is formed by the l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 yes sir l1 it is dividing into the two division ilio hypogastric nerve and our ilio inguinal nerve these are important because they will make the posterior relation of the kidney also you can see the l1 l2 they are uniting and making the genito femoral nerve remember this is the question from the i n i c e t it participate in the cremastric reflex so root value of the cremastric reflex is l1 l2 remember what i want to tell you these are making the kidney relation okay yes allah datta we will start topic wise also step by step but right now not too much students are so much aware so as the students will get awareness about the our this uh, uh, proper session wise we will do and right now after the two month students are having the exam for the university so we are focusing according to demand for the university exam first okay we will do all this session stay tuned beta okay now try to understand sir here is the our genito femoral nerve okay now can you see this l2 yes sir l2 l3 l4 the ventral division they are making the obturator nerve very important question how the obturator nerve is formed you must remember root value l2 l3 l4 okay sir but ventral division is also equally important now the dorsal division can you see the dorsal division of the l2 l3 l4 they are uniting and making the femoral nerve so root value of the femoral nerve and obturator nerve both are same clinical that's why if there is a irritation of the obturator nerve in case of the knee arthritis the pain is referred to the femoral nerve at the hip joint because both are having the same root value i told you the very important clinical point related with the medicine and the orthopedics the knee arthritis also you can see there is our l4 l5 it is making the lumbosacral trunk also you can see this bifurcation site at this l4 point this is our nervi furcalis okay now try to catch this femoral nerve because short notes are asked that's why we are going to talk see here the root value of the femoral nerve sir it is formed by the l2 l3 l4 this is formed by the dorsal division not the ventral division yes sir so this is the femoral nerve now this femoral nerve is giving the branch to the iliacus muscle yes sir fine now it is giving the branch to the our pectineus correct sir these branches are given in the abdomen yes it is a nerve of the entry compartment of the thigh so it will supply the all the muscles of the entry compartment of the thigh see here now this is coming down 
and it is dividing into the anterior division and the posterior division. MCQ, which structure is dividing, which structure, which artery is dividing into these two divisions, which artery is passing in between the two divisions of our femoral nerve? Yes, answer is lateral circumflex femoral artery. इसके आगे जो है वो एंट्री डिवीजन इसके पीछे जो है वो पोस्टर डिवीजन है नाउ द एंट्री डिवीजन सर इट विल गिव द ब्रांच टू द सार्टोरियस मसल एमसीक्यू रिमेंबर ये बेटा आपको वाइवा में पूछा जाता है सार्टोरियस इज सप्लाइड बाय एंटीरियर डिवीजन ऑफ द अवर फेमोरल नर्व यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज गिविंग द इंटरमीडिएट क्यूटेनियस ऑफ द थाई इट इज गिविंग द मीडियल क्यूटेनियस नर्व ऑफ द थाई आल्सो ओके now you can see there is our posterior division it is giving the branch to the hip joint rectus femoris vastus lateralis vastus intermedius and vastus medialis so this is giving the branches to the quadriceps femoris agri beta sabko samajh mein aa raha hai quadriceps femoris ye piche ki taraf hoti hai jo nadi jahan rehti hai jahan behti hai us area ko supply karti hai so these muscles are on the back side so this is supplied by the this uh, our posterior division piche ki taraf ki muscle पीछे के डिवीजन से आगे की तरफ की मसल सार्टोरियस आगे के डिवीजन से नाउ यू कैन सी इट इज कमिंग इन टू द अवर लेग इट इज गिविंग द इंफ्रा पटेल ब्रांच यस इट इज गिविंग द लॉन्गेस्ट क्यूटेनिस ऑफ द बॉडी यस सर सेफेनस नर्व जितना लंबा हमारा थाई है हमारा लोअर लिंब है उतना लंबा ये सेफेनस नर्व है आप कह सकते हैं द लॉन्गेस्ट क्यूटेनिस ऑफ द बॉडी यस आई विल आस्क इन यू इन वाइवा एग्जाम्स व्हेन आई विल कम एज द एक्सटर्नल और इफ आई एम योर इंटरनल एग्जाम व्हिच इज द लॉन्गेस्ट क्यूटेनिस ऑफ द our body you must remember the saphenous nerve now it is giving the cutaneous branches to the our medial side of the leg yes it is giving the branches to the medial side of the foot also so this fact was asked in your neat pg 2021 and 22 because it is running close to the our yes great saphenous vein so whenever we are performing the phlebotomy operation this nerve is getting cut so there is a loss of sensation on the medial side of the foot this was the question so this is the point regarding the our femoral nerve now come to the our obturator nerve so again sir obturator nerve obturator nerve is having the root value what is the root value of the obturator nerve sir l2 l3 l4 which division yes remember anterior division so it is running through the obturator canal now again it is dividing into the anterior division and here is our posterior division it is divided by which muscle so you can see sir the adductor brevis is in between okay sir now look one by one anterior division sir anterior division is giving the branch to the hip joint okay sir it is giving the branch to the pectineus muscle correct sir it is giving the branch yes yes just give me few seconds there is the battery down for the my सिस्टम इसकी बैटरी डाउन हो जाएगी लेकिन हम लोगों की बैटरी डाउन नहीं होगी जैसे जैसे रात आगे बढ़ते चली जाएगी हम रात कली की तरह खिलते चले जाएंगे महकते चले जाएंगे ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद दिस पॉइंट्स यस सर इट इज गिविंग द ब्रांच टू द अवर एडक्टर ब्रिवेस देन इट इज गिविंग द ब्रांच टू द लॉन्गस एज वेल एज द ग्रेसलिस एज वेल एज द इट इज गिविंग द ब्रांच टू द मीडियल साइड ऑफ द स्किन Do you remember the muscles of the medial compartment? I told you the LBM, adductor longus brevis magnus. In the similar way, you can see the our muscles. Sir, there is the longus, then brevis, and here is the magnus. So you can remember the sequence L, then B, and then M. हमारा ये निमोनिक हर जगह फिक्स रहेगा. In hip bone, in the femur, in the thigh. The adductor longus is the first, then brevis, and then magnus. And other muscles are gracilis and pectineus. Remember, gracilis is also known as the anti-rape muscle, also known as the custodian of virginity, and this is our pectineus. Why the gracilis is known as the anti-rape muscle? Please comment at the comment box. Now you can see the posterior division. It is supplying the obturator externus. It is supplying the adductor magnus, and then through the adductor hiatus, it is coming out and supplying the knee joint. Do you remember in our hunter canal entry division and the posterior division they were running together? Okay, sir. Now we are going to talk regarding the our sciatic nerve, tibial nerve.
common peroneal nerve and the deep peroneal nerve, superficial peroneal nerve. So, we will give the short term kapana, dapana, sapana. Okay. So, this is the one short term. Remember one funny way. Yes, sapana, dapana, kapana, tibial nerve. Sapana, superficial peroneal nerve. Dapana is the deep peroneal nerve. Kapana is the common peroneal nerve. And TN, that is the tibial nerve. So, remember. कौन बेस्ट फ्रेंड होता है बेस्ट फ्रेंड वो होता है जो कहता है जो तेरा है वो मेरा है और जो मेरा है वो तो मेरा ही है यस दिस इज राम नाम जपना परायम माल अपना आप का तो लगता है बस यही सपना सो दिस सपना इज एक्चुअली द सुपरफिशियल पेरोनियल नर्व जस्ट वन फनी थिंग सो दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर ओके सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी फॉर द शियाटिक नर्व स्लीपिंग फुट वन डायग्रामेटिक प्रेजेंटेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डू फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके सी हियर कैच दिस पॉइंट सर द शियाटिक नर्व इट अराइजेस फ्रॉम द आवर रूट वैल्यूज वॉट आर द रूट वैल्यूज सर L4, L5, S1, S2, S3. Getting the point, sir? The L4, L5, S1, S2, S3. These are uniting and they are making the tibial part of the sciatic nerve, sir. These are L4, L5, S1, S2, S3. But there is a one another part, sir. That is our yes, common peroneal part. So you can see. I am using the little bit more dark and different color, sir. L4, L5, S1, S2, but not the S3. These now fibers are coming together. Yes, this is the tibial part, and here is a common peroneal part. Now these fibers are uniting and making the thickest nerve of the body. That is the sciatic. nerve yes sir it is our sciatic nerve getting the point sir this is our common peroneal part agree better so these are the our two different parts you can see the common peroneal part and tibial part tibial part is having the root value l4 to s3 while the common peroneal part it is having the root value from the l4 to s2 only so this is the very important question also the L4, L5, S1, they will make the superior gluteal nerve, which will supply the gluteus maximus muscle, MCQ. While you will see that there is the L5, S1 and S2, they will make the inferior gluteal nerve, which will supply to the gluteus medius, minimus and the tensor facial lata. Very, very important your viva question. Now, try to understand, this is sciatic nerve, sir, this is sciatic nerve, it will reach into the our, yes, popliteal fossa. So, this is the one very important fact we had seen. Now, try to catch this another thing, sciatic nerve is the very, very important for all of you. So, catch here. Suppose this is the gluteal region and here is a thigh. Yes, sir. Suppose it is our thigh. Here is our knee joint part. This is our leg. Lateral and the medial malus. This is the great toe. And here are our remaining toes. Getting the point? Yes, sir. For the better understanding, we are drawing the nails with the nail polish. So it is indicating the our dorsum of the foot. Now try to understand. Here is our rhomboid shape space, sir. This is our popliteal fossa. Remember, there is our muscle. Which muscle? Piriformis. So sciatic nerve is emerging just along the lower border of the piriformis. Then it is dividing into the tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve. Yes, sir. This is the course. This is our sciatic nerve. It is dividing into the tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve remember at the lateral side there is our one structure head of the fibula and neck of the fibula so this nerve is reaching at the neck of the fibula and here it is dividing into two yes sir one is our deep peroneal nerve which is running at the entry compartment and another is superficial peroneal nerve which is running at the lateral compartment while the tibial nerve is running on the posterior compartment. What I want to tell you, again focus better, sir, 
कैच दिस वन यस 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 पुष्पिता ऑपोजिट हो गया सर ऑपोजिट नंबर गया यस यस प्लीज टेल मी विच एनी एनी थिंग इज देयर विच नंबर बेटा प्लीज प्लीज स्पेसिफाई इफ एनी थिंग इज मिस्टेक वी विल इंप्रूव यस प्लीज प्लीज स्पेसिफाई पुष्पिता ओके यस वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू सर दिस इज अवर नेक ऑफ फिबुला एट द नेक ऑफ द फिबुला यू कैन सी सर दिस इज अवर डीप पेरोनियल नर्व वाइल हियर इज अवर सुपरफिशियल पेरोनियल नर्व दिस डीप पेरोनियल नर्व इज द नर्व ऑफ विच कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग एम सी क्यू वाइल द सुपरफिशियल पेरोनियल नर्व दिस इज द नर्व ऑफ द विच कंपार्टमेंट सर लेटरल कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग एम सी क्यू योर क्वेश्चन फॉर द वाइव एग्जाम टीबीएल नर्व इज द नर्व ऑफ विच कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग सर पोस्टीरियर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग सो now we are going to talk regarding the our leg leg is having the three compartment sir anterior compartment sir lateral compartment sir there is the posterior compartment yes one summary for all of you supply of the superior gluteal nerve okay yes thank you thank you beta thank you what you have to do please correct this one superior gluteal nerve right you are right sir it will supply the gluteus medius minimus and the tensor facial atta inferior gluteal nerve sir it will supply the gluteus maximus thank you thank you pushpita thank you abhishek for your information you are right okay now what i want to tell you sir here the story was sciatic nerve correct sir sciatic nerve was dividing into two tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve correct sir the common peroneal nerve is dividing into two what you can say the superficial peroneal nerve and the deep peroneal nerve agree so this is the flow chart sir this our tbl nerve it is the nerve of the posterior compartment of the leg sir superficial peroneal nerve this is the nerve of the lateral compartment of the leg while the deep peroneal nerve it is nerve of the our yes anterior compartment of the leg so this is your summary very 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 important question sciatic nerve now catch here there are the our dermatome of the foot yes sciatica when there is a compression of this nerve roots in between the our vertebral disc then there is the severe shooting burning severe shooting pain along the back of the thigh this is sciatica but when there is a compression of the sciatic nerve along the edge of the chair or table then there is the our neuropraxia compression of the vessels of the nerve okay that is a sleeping foot remember for the sciatica you need the medical or surgical treatment but for the sleeping foot no requirement of the our treatment hum sabhi beta lambe samay tak chair mein baithe rehte to pure pair mein peeche mein numbness ho jata hai jhunjhunahat se badh jati hai aur bahut dard jaisa situation ho jata hai thode samay ke liye hum chalte hain aur ye theek ho jata hai that is a sleeping foot but sciatica is extremely painful condition any nerve disorder carpal tunnel syndrome like what are the our treatment strategy first give the yes exercise treatment next is multivitamin if not treated give the pain killer nsaid if not treated give the steroid if not treated then do the surgery for the your lumbar area okay where there is a compression getting the point now what we have to look for this dermatome see here the foot dermatome just like the hand dermatome very important remember entire dorsum of the foot is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve except first baby space which is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve very important in the fmg exam this middle toe was asked this is having the dermatome l4 while the lateral border of the sole is supplied by the sural nerve now also you can see the saphenous nerve is supplying the medial side of the leg up to the ball of the great toe and the common peroneal nerve is supplying near the our neck of the fibula part so again this is very 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 important diagram now see the clinical point the bumper fracture remember fracture at the neck of the fibula whenever there is the car is coming it is hitting the neck of the fibula it is getting fracture so whenever there is the fracture at the neck of the fibula the common peroneal nerve is damaged so there is the our foot drop no excuse with this foot drop it is asked as the short note and your viva question now look here the revision capsule so comment give me the answer sartorius is supplied by which nerve 
MCQ. Referred pain of the knee is felt at the hip joint. Why? These are the your one-liner question, two marks question. Root value of the sciatic nerve, you have to mention. Root value of the superior gluteal nerve, you have to say. And root value of the inferior gluteal nerve. So, these are your questions during the exams. Okay. Now, tell me what is the answer. Comment, comment at the box. Foot drop is due to the damage of which nerve? Common pain nerve, femoral nerve, tibial nerve, sciatic nerve. I am waiting for your answer. Now, look for the leg part okay sir when we are cutting when we are doing the our section at the leg then what will happen yes 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 sandeep thank you for your uh, so positive word in past common entrance exam test pgme yes bullet train anatomy is having the 80 percent strike rate definitely better because the maximum thing in that seven and half hours we completed okay so you can follow that and always this part will be this that bullet train anatomy will be useful for okay so this is also the bullet train anatomy for the first mbbs students okay so now you can see we are cutting the leg so in the leg there are the three compartments what are the different three compartments see here sir this is our leg so in the leg this is the tibia so here you can see the entry compartment of the leg this is the lateral part of the leg and here is the posterior compartment of the leg. Getting the point? So, what are the different structures? Yes, sir. You can observe. This is our bone tibia. Here is the fibula. So, you can observe anterior compartment. This is the very big posterior compartment. This is the lateral compartment. First MBB students, you must draw this diagram. Transfer section of the leg is asked. Can you see? Sir, this is our tibia. Can you see here is our fibula. So in between the tibia and the fibula you can observe there is our interosseous membrane. Getting the point? Yes, Dr. Anvesha, you are right. Common peroneal nerve for the foot drop. Very good answer. Mike clapping for all of you better. Yes, you are right. Now, see here there is our anterior intermuscular septa and the posterior intermuscular septa. Yes, sir. Interosseous membrane, anterior and posterior intermuscular septa. And in the similar way, there is our, yes, superficial transverse facial septa and the deep transverse facial septa. It is not important for the NEET PG INICT, but it is important for the first MBBS students. Yes, so in this way, you can see there are the three compartments. Yes, sir, this is our anterior compartment. Sir, here is our fibula side lateral compartment. And this is the most bulky part, sir. This is our posterior compartment of the leg. Once in the AIMS INICT 2019-18 question, they ask, which compartment of the leg is not having the neurovascular bundle? And your answer was a superficial posterior compartment. So, in a directly, in AIMS exam, INICT, they ask about this diagram. So, can you see? Every compartment is having their own nerve. Entry compartment, deep peroneal nerve, apply the Hilton law. Yes, on the lateral side, there is a sapna, superficial peroneal nerve. But on the back side, you will see there is our tibial nerve and the branches of the tibial nerve, which will supply this all the muscles. Yes, posterior compartment is very bulky, which is again divided into the superficial and deep group muscles. So now, what are the different muscles we are going to see? Try to catch these points, sir. The entry compartment. There is the one muscle which is taking origin from the tibia from the front side and getting insertion into the hour. Yes, you can see the medial cuneiform and the first metatarsal. This is the tibialis anterior. When this muscle will contract, it will cause inversion. Inversion and eversion of the foot short note may be asked. Okay. Now look here the another muscle. Can you see this muscle? Sir, the entry compartment of the leg is known as the extensor compartment. So, this is the extensor. It is going to the great toe. So, this is the extensor hallucis long muscle. That's why longus. Now, we are dissecting this one. Can you see this muscle? Yes. Yes. So, Dr. Sandeep Sharma is saying, I always struggled regarding the nose and vessels, but once I got the concept of the Hilton's law, it becomes very easy for me. Thank you for this concept. Thank you, Sandeep. This is a very useful concept. How you can remember? Simple way, ek choti si shairi, jo nadi jahan rehti hai, jahan behti hai, us area ko supply karti hai. In the similar way, jo nerve jahan rehti hai, jahan behti hai, us area ke saare muscle ko 
वहाँ की स्किन को वहाँ की ज्वाइंट को सप्लाई करती है इसे हम क्या कहते हैं दिस इज सिंपल अवर हिल्टन लॉ सो दिस इज अगेन फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू संदीप फॉर रिवाइजिंग फॉर द अदर स्टूडेंट्स ओके यस ओके सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू सर दिस मसल इट इज इन द एक्सटेंसर कंपार्टमेंट एग्री सर इट इज गोइंग टू द अवर डिजिट दैट्स अवर डिजिटोरम एक्सटेंसर डिजिटोरम इट इज लॉन्ग मसल दैट्स अवर लॉन्गस्ट सो रिमेम्बर अनदर शायरी ब्रेक द नेम गेट द आइडिया शेक्सपियर ने कहा है नाम में क्या रखा है लेकिन मिर्जा गालिब कहते हैं सारे राज नाम में दफन रहते हैं वी हैव टू ब्रेक द नेम एक्सटेंसर सर इट इज एक्सटेंसर कंपार्टमेंट डिजिटोरम इट इज गोइंग टू द डिजिट लॉन्गस्ट इट इज वेरी लॉन्ग मसल दैट्स वाई यू विल से लॉन्गस्ट एग्री सो नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक सर ऑन द लेटर साइड देर इज वन मसल सर दिस मसल इज अटैच टू द पेरोनियल बोन फिबुला बोन सो दिस पेरोनियस एंड इट इज वेरी लॉन्ग इट इज पासिंग थ्रू द टनल अटैच सो दिस द पेरोनियस लॉन्गस इट इज फ्रॉम द लेटर साइड सो वेन इट विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इट विल एलिवेट द लैटरल बॉर्डर ऑफ द फुट एलिवेशन ऑफ द लैटरल बॉर्डर ऑफ द फुट इज नोन एज ई वर्जन Which structure is the evolter of the foot? Answer is our yes, peroneus longus. Now, can you see in the similar way? There is one more muscle. Yes, sir. There is one more muscle which is attached to the our fifth metatarsal bone, sir. This is the our fibular bone, peroneal bone. So this is the fibularis or peroneus muscle, but it is short. So you will say peroneus brevis. Yes. it is also the e volter getting the point so remember these muscles are e volter while the tibial is enter in the tibial is posterior that are e volter of the foot okay tibial is enter posterior they are in volter of the foot okay so try to understand entry compartment of the leg the mnemonic is the hospitals are never dirty places hospital bahut saaf sutri jagah hoti hai aap yahan par so sakte hain so this is the one mnemonic t for sir tibial is anterior sir h for hallucis longus which hallucis longus sir it is extensor compartment that's why extensor hallucis longus remember a for artery n for nerve tell me which is the artery of the anterior compartment sir anterior tibial artery which is the nerve of the anterior compartment remember the deep peroneal nerve very very important question d for digitorum longus it is extensor compartment that's why extensor digitorum longus this is p p for peroneus tertius you can remember yes one peroneus muscle but it is neither the longus nor the brevis so this is the third peroneus muscle that's a peroneus tertius so apply the hilton law the nerve of this compartment is the deep peroneal nerve so remember the nerve supply of the tibialis anterior deep peroneal nerve extensor hallucis longus deep peroneal nerve extensor digitorum longus deep peroneal nerve peroneus tertius deep peroneal nerve sabka malik ek hai deep peroneal nerve and in the similar way we talked regarding the lateral compartment of the leg you can see here there is a peroneus longus and there is our peroneus brevis muscle getting the point now look here the clinical integration we all can observe the peroneus brevis is having the attachment at the fifth metatarsal bone so sometimes there is the excessive pull by the peroneus brevis so there is a fracture of the fifth metatarsal sir it is known as jones fracture so you will see this fracture of the fifth metatarsal also remember there is the one more situation known as the march fracture the policeman the army person they are doing the march activity so maximum pressure that is going towards the medial longitudinal arch but this first metatarsal is very thick so it will ne never get the fracture but the second and the third metatarsal bones these will get fracture this is our march fracture remember this point now we are going to talk regarding the posterior compartment of the leg so for the posterior compartment there is a superficial group and the deep group yes superficial group you can remember with the name gastrocnemius S for yes, this is soleus. P for you can remember, sir, it is our plantaris. Okay, so we are going to talk regarding this muscles gossip, the best job in the world. Okay, so remember this is very very one beautiful mnemonic for all of you. Yes, we are going to see these structures, sir. Here is the posterior compartment, sir. This is our muscle gastrocnemius. Can you see? sir there is a lateral head of the gastrocnemius there is a medial head of the gastrocnemius sometimes there is a ossification of the seed like bone sesamoid bone in the lateral head of the gastrocnemius that is known as the fabella so this is the one very interesting question i will ask you during the exam okay now 
this gastrocnemius we are doing dissection we are removing then can you see this is muscle this is the soleus it is also known as a peripheral heart because the veins are passing through it when it contracts it pumps the blood towards the heart it increases the venous return so it maintains the cardiac output so remember this is the soleus okay now this gastrocnemius and the soleus these are uniting and making the triceps suri why this is the triceps suri because there is a three head lateral head medial head of the gastrocnemius and another is soleus these all are getting insertion into the, our calcaneus bone so this is our yes triceps suri which is making the strongest tendon of the our body that is our tendoachylis do you remember in brachial plexus i had shown this image yes this is the again troy movie our brad pitt hero so remember he was the strongest person on the earth yes remember he got the death due to the arrow at the eclis area yes i am going to show you this movie scene try to catch this point this beautiful concept the eclis movie the oscar awarded movie can you see this movie part click for all of you eclis brad pitt the strongest warrior on the earth wo mar nahi sakta tha lekin uski death hui can you see he got the death due to the arrow at the ankle part yes arrow at the ankle part so due to this he got the death remember the very famous story behind it what i want to tell you try to understand yes there was the arrow at this portion yes just like the hindu story bhishma pitama ganga putra ganga mata ne bhishma pitama ko vardan diya tha ichha mrityu ka उसको जन्म दिया और छोड़ दिया लेकिन वरदान दिया था इन द सिमिलर वे ग्रीक स्टोरी दे आर डूइंग द कॉपी पेस्ट ऑफ अवर हिंदू स्टोरीज ओके व्हाट दे आर सेइंग दे आर सेइंग दैट रिमेंबर एक्लिस स्टाई नदी का बेटा था ये बीडी चौरासी में भी लिखा हुआ है स्टाई रिवर गिवन द बर्थ टू द वन बेबी एक्लिस एंड लेफ्ट लेफ्ट हिम ओके बट शी होल्डेड द बेबी एंड डिप्ड इन द वॉटर वॉट द पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी वेयर द वॉटर टच that became hard like the stone so no kind of the weapon can harm him but one part of the body jahan par pani nahi pada tha that was the ankle of the baby yes the mother hold the baby at this ankle area and dipped into the water so this was the weak part yahan se uski mummy ne usko pakda aur pani mein dubaya yahan wo pani nahi pada tha isliye kamzor part tha on the name of this great warrior this tendon is known as the achilles tendon so remember this very interesting point okay now you can see here there is the our flexor retinacula yes sir the main structures are passing behind to it especially you must remember the tibial nerve so the compression of the tibial nerve compression of the tibial nerve just behind this our yes tarsal tunnel flexor retinacula this is known as the tarsal tunnel syndrome now what are the different structures which are passing here so you can remember the mnemonic तुलसी दास अमीर नहीं है तुलसी दास जी ने रामचरित मानस की रचना की और वो सबके लिए फ्री था अगर वो हैरी पॉटर लिखते पैसे लेते तो अमीर हो जाते वन फनी वे सो दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर यस टी फॉर यू कैन रिमेंबर द टी बी पोस्टीरियर यस 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 आई ऑलवेज फील्ड एनाटॉमी ड्यूरिंग माई प्रॉफ एग्जाम यस संदीप एट फर्स्ट ईयर नॉट ओनली द फर्स्ट एम बी वी आर टीचिंग द नीट पी जी स्टूडेंट्स after all the students are saying among all the 19 subjects the most dangerous subject is anatomy so my just little try to make it interesting so that we can enjoy we can learn and anatomy is very important because all the medical subjects they are coming from the anatomy that's why okay hope you are enjoying this uh, session sandeep thank you for your positive comments so first muscle is tibialis posterior d for you can remember digital longus yes which digitorum longus remember it is the flexor digitorum longus a for you can remember artery which is the artery of the posterior compartment remember the posterior tibial artery very very commonly asked in the fmg exam n for you can remember the nerve which is the nerve remember the tibial nerve and h for hallucis longus which hallucis longus remember it is the flexor compartment so these are the our different structures i am going to show you. yes you can take the help of the another mnemonic tom dick and nervous heli yes t for tibialis posterior d for digitorum longus flexor digitorum longus a for sir artery and for nerve which nerve sir definitely the tibial nerve tibial nerve is the nerve of posterior compartment and h for hallucis longus yes flexor hallucis longus 
apply the hilton law what is the nerve supply of the tbl is posterior remember the nerve of this compartment tbl nerve it will supply the flexor distum longus it will supply the flexor halsus longus bilkul ratna nahi hai hilton law lagana hai jo nerve jahan rehti hai jahan behti hai wahan ke sare muscle ko ye supply karti hai yes thank you thank you sandeep you are enjoying a lot love your teaching style thank you thank you beta god bless you प्लीज इन्फॉर्म यूर ऑल द फ्रेंड्स सो दैट वी कैन डू सच कैंड सेशन मोर एंड मोर लेकिन अब इसके लिए हंड्रेड बच्चों के ग्रुप जरूरी है हंड्रेड बच्चों को कम से कम लाइव में आना तब तो सेशन का मजा आएगा ओके यस ना वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दिस ऑल द मसल्स यस सर दिस वॉज द अवर सोलियस सो वी आर रिमूविंग दिस सोलियस कैन यू सी दिस मसल सर दिस इज द प्लांटेरिस it is having the very long tendon so mcq which muscle which muscle is used for the tendon grafting operation answer is this plantaris getting the point so this is the plantaris muscle you can use for the tendon grafting operation and remember this is the popliteus muscle remember short note popliteus is used is the unlocking muscle so our formula u p l q this is very very important locking and unlocking i am telling you here sir वन निमोनिक वॉट यू पी एल क्यू एटलीस्ट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस वन यू फॉर अन लॉकिंग पी फॉर पॉपलिटियस उत्तर प्रदेश के एग्जाम में लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आते हैं सो यू कैन रिमेंबर इन दिस फनी वे यस एल फॉर लॉकिंग क्यू फॉर क्वाडिसमोरिस द बेस्ट आंसर इज अवर वॉस्टस मीडियलिस सो डोंट फॉरगेट दिस फॉर्मूला very important okay what is the locking yes at the last 30 degree of extension the femur rotates medially when the leg is fixed this is known as the locking so definitely it is the extension so you will count the extensor muscle what is the unlocking short note i am telling you yes what is unlocking at the beginning of the flexion of the knee joint first 30 degree of the flexion there is a lateral rotation of the femur over the fixed tibia this is known as the unlocking this locking and unlocking is very important for the bipedal gait for the long standing cases due to this locking and unlocking we can stand for the very long time it is very important role it is having the very important role in human evolution so short note i told you in the similar way remember there is the our joint sir which joint subtalar joint at the subtalar joint there is the moment inversion and eversion getting the point yes yes sandeep there are the different kind of the scenes okay so because this is session dedicated to the first prof exam for the theory exam so our main platform is that and over which we are explaining the our inict neat pg and fmg exams also so which muscles are inverter remember tibial is anterior and tibial is posterior these are inverter which are everter remember peroneus longus and peroneus brevis these are our everter muscle getting the point so these are very very important questions don't forget it is very important for the your ini ct ams also as well as first prof exam agree beta so these are the points inversion eversion never occurs at the ankle joint it occurs at the subtalar joint try to catch i am going to show you this our portion sir this is our leg so in the leg can you see this is the talus above the talus this is ankle joint but below the talus this is the subtalar joint where inversion eversion occurs remember i am going to tell you one very great kind of the funny thing एक जोक मैं आपको सुनाता हूं समझने की कोशिश कीजिए मैं आपको एक टेक्निक बताने जा रहा हूं जिससे अगर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी गोल हो जाए आप ऑपरेशन कर रहे हैं बिजली गोल हो गई सारे आपके ऑपरेशन थिएटर के मशीन बंद हो गए लेकिन ऑपरेशन करना जरूरी है एक टेक्निक मैं बताने जा रहा हूं जिससे आप तुरंत इलेक्ट्रिसिटी को ला सकते हैं और ये टेक्निक इंडिया से बाहर नहीं जानी चाहिए मोदी जी को कोई नहीं बताएगा यस yes, आप जब ऑपरेशन कर रहे हैं तो अपने फुट को मीडियल बॉर्डर को एलिवेट कर दीजिए जैसे ही मीडियल बॉर्डर को एलिवेट करेंगे पूरी बिजली आ जाएगी और आप ऑपरेशन कर सकते हैं कहीं पर भी कोई भी हमको जनरेटर की जरूरत नहीं है किसी की मदद की जरूरत नहीं है पूछो क्यों ऐसा कैसे होगा क्योंकि जैसे ही आप मीडियल बॉर्डर तो फुट को एलिवेट करते हैं टीबिलिस एंट्री और टीबिलिस पोस्टर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होता है और 
वैसे ही तुरंत बिजली आ जाती है क्यों आंसर है टीवीएलिस एंट्री पोस्टेड दे आर पावरफुल इन्वर्टर ओके सर जो खत्म समझ में आ गया जिसको वो अभी हंसेगा जिसको नहीं समझ में आया वो रात को दो बजे पढ़ते हुए अचानक हंसेगा रूम पार्टनर उठेगा अभी क्या हो गया क्यों हंस रहा है तो वो बोलेगा सर जो सुबह चोक सुनाए थे वो अभी रात को दो बजे समझ में आया है इसलिए हंस रहा हूं ओनली वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू यस टेबल इज एंटीर एंड टेबल इज पोस्टेड दे आर पावरफुल इन्वर्टर और याद रखेंगे इस पर कॉपी हमारा है ये जो हमने एनाटोमी के ऊपर बनाया है सर रिमेंबर दिस वन ओके सो यू कैन नेवर फॉरगेट दिस पॉइंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू सर दिस इज अवर मीडियल मेलुलस जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द मीडियल मेलुलस देर इज अन मसल सर दिस इज द टीबियल इज एंटीरियर करेक्ट सर देर इज वन अनदर मसल विच इज पासिंग जस्ट बिहाइंड सर दिस इज द टीबियल इज पोस्टीरियर ये मीडियल साइड से जा रहे हैं सो वेन दिस मसल विल कॉन्ट्रेक्ट देर इज द इनवर्जन मूवमेंट देर इज द एलिवेशन ऑफ द मीडियल बॉर्डर सो रिमेंबर टीबियल इज एंटीरियर एंड टीबियल इज पोस्टीरियर टीबिल एंट्री इज जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द मीडियल मेलुलस कैटेगरिक इमेज डायसेक्शन टीबिल इज पोस्टीर जस्ट बिहाइंड द अवर मीडियल मेलुलस येस दैट इज द अवर मीडियल साइड दैट्स वाई दे विल कॉज इनवर्जन एग्रीबेटर नाउ ट्राई टू कैच दीज मोर पॉइंट यस सर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक रिगार्डिंग द मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग सर देर इज अ नो मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग बट एट द मीडियल साइड यू विल सी द सर्टन मसल्स यस इट इज टोटली सब क्यूटेनियस लेकिन बेटा ऊपर में कैन यू सी देर इज अटैचमेंट ऑफ द सार्टोरियस कैन यू सी देर इज द अटैचमेंट ऑफ द अवर ग्रेसलेस कैन यू सी देर इज द अटैचमेंट ऑफ द Our semi tendinosus muscle SGS you can remember and just behind to it there is a one ligament tibial collateral ligament these muscles are known as a gyro rope muscle so your mnemonic is salmon boy gadhe se takra hai remember salmon boy the most ideal person for our India yes due to his contribution we are getting the very nice movies so one funny mnemonic yes salmon gadhe se takra hai aaj gadi तेरा भाई चलाएगा यू कैन रिमेंबर सो एस फॉर सर सार्टोरियस इज मीडियल साइड कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग जी फॉर सर ग्रेसिलिस इज द आंसर एस फॉर सेमी टेंडनोसिस एंड टी फॉर टीबियल कोलेटर लिगामेंट दीज आर अटैच ऑन द मीडियल साइड दीज आर नोन एज द गायरोप मसल एंड इन बिटवीन दिस मसल्स यू विल सी द एन से राइन बरसा यस It is a rapid bullet train anatomy session for the first MBBS students. So we are just quickly revising all the things in detail we had described in our app. Okay, now revision capsule. You have to give the answer. Foot drop is due to paralysis of the which muscle? One MCQ. Which are inverter of the foot? I told you. Which are the inverter of the foot? MCQ. Yes, your viva question. Inversion and eversion occurs at which joint? And ankle jerk perform at which tendon? Yes, yes, yes. You have to say this physiology answer also. Now, yes. The problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. Do you understand the famous quotation by Captain Jack Sparrow? So now we are going to look for the topic of the foot. Yes, again, the structure, the different bones, muscles in our foot, they are in such kind of the way that they are closely interlocking together. and they are making the concavity this concavity is known as the arches one question from the arches of foot we are starting this session with the beautiful our uh, one story you know martin guttil the very great player he is not having this toes okay yes sir but still he is very nice fielder batsman remember we are starting this arches of foot topic with this quotation there is the no need of the other toes also Yes, phalanges never participate in arches of foot. यानी वो दो उंगलियों को भी कट कर दोगे तो भी खड़े होने चलने दौड़ने इन सभी पर कोई भी इफेक्ट नहीं पड़ेगा ओके सो दिस इज द लाइन विच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर सो आर्चेस ऑफ फुट सी हियर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द फुटबॉल इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैच हियर द फुटबॉल सर दिस इज अवर फुट द टॉप मोस्ट बोन Talus. In recent FMG exam, the ossification of the talus had been asked seven month. MCQ. Viva question. Largest foot bone calcaneum. Now look in front of the talus, sir. There is a boat shaped bone navicular. Now in front of the navicular bone, can you see medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiforms? 
yes medial cuneiform is articulating with the first metatarsal then here is the second and this is the third metatarsal and on the lateral side there is the our cube shaped bone cuboid then here you can see the fifth and yes fourth and fifth metatarsal these are phalanges first row is having the two phalanges rest all are having the only three phalanges agree better okay so i think team clay jenson got the point he is sending the smiley yes so remember tibial is anterior and tibial is posterior are powerful inverter ye baat hamare desh se bahar nahi jani chahiye okay so now come to the next sir this is the cadaveric image so when you are looking the different bones the calcaneum sir here is the talus this is the navicular bone and here are the our cuneiform metatarsal so you can see there is a concavity yes sir this concavity is known as the arch so whenever there is a footprint you will see there is not the flattening of the foot but there is a concavity okay so you can remember this our arches of foot these are very important for the proper yes standing walking running jumping so you can see you can practice for this diagram sir when we are printing the uh, footprint over the ground then you will see there is the our yes such kind of the structure so you can draw you can practice for your diwali and you can make happy to your mother yes so there is our medial longitudinal arch yes sir here is the lateral longitudinal arch correct sir there are the transverse arches anterior transverse arch and the posterior transverse arch simple this is the classification of the arches of foot why it is important remember it is important for the our proper running walking jumping if there is any problem in this arches of foot in that situation no selection in the army and the police getting the point now look here what are the different bones which are participating in the medial longitudinal arch so magic of three can you see yes sir there are the three tarsal bone medial half of the calcaneum yes talus and the navicular bone three tarsal there are the three cuneiforms sir medial intermediate and lateral cuneiform and there are the three tarsal first second and third simple what are the bones participating in the lateral side of the longitudinal arch sir two metatarsal and two tarsal lateral half of the calcaneum and the cuboid correct yes when you are meeting the foot then you will see the both legs are meeting together and making the posterior transverse arch complete yes sir so what are the different structures which are participating in the arches of foot yes it is very very important topic for the first mbbs and the orthopedic students final year students see here talus calcaneus in front of the talus there is a navicular bone and here is the medial intermediate lateral cuneiform then there is the first second third metatarsal highest point can you see this is the arch humko engineering ki madad leni padegi sir this is the arch highest point of any arch that is known as a summit and from the summit to the posterior part that is known as a column so this is the posterior column which is made by the calcaneum yes sir summit is formed by the talus yes sir anterior column is formed by the first metatarsal cuneiforms and the navicular bone correct sir so these are the points which you have to mention while the lateral longitudinal arch can you see the highest point is formed by the calcaneum yes sir this is the posterior pillar and here is the anterior pillar posterior pillar is formed by the calcaneum anterior pillar is formed by the metatarsal bones and the cuboid yes also you can say ends the anterior end of the medial longitudinal arch is formed by the first second and third metatarsal bone while the posterior end is formed by the our calcaneum in our detailed classes i teach these all the things arches of foot approximately 2 hours classes but this is a quick revision series okay now try to understand yes yesterday semester mein same question aaya tha yes nishant i want to tell you that arches of foot is very important and every time you will see such kind of the question and again i want to tell you 80% of your exam the question will be asked from our this bullet train session okay now the anterior end in the our this arch sir 
this is our lateral longitudinal arch it is formed by the fourth and fifth metatarsal while the posterior end is formed by the our yes calcaneum lateral tubercle anterior column i told you posterior column i told you and summit is formed by the calcaneum so these are the our different points which you can tabulate with the help of this table okay now look here there is our entry into posterior transverse arch but they are less important now there is our mcqs they will ask the radiological question on the basis of the our identification of the bone so you can easily see here this is the boat shaped bone so this is our navicular getting the point radiologic question now we are looking the congenital deformity there are the many many kind of the deformities in the foot bones so remember the most common congenital deformity of the world is the our foot deformity among which this is the our club foot which is also known as ctev what is the ctv congenital talipus equino varus in which you will see the concavity yes cavus condition the foot is towards the midline adducted and the patient will walk over the lateral border of the foot that's why varus and the patient will walk on the toes that's why equinus so your mnemonic is your mnemonic is c a v e k o getting the point so remember there are the many kind of the deformity when the foot is concave that is the cavus when the patient is walking on the toe yes patient jo beta toe pe chalega aur ghode ki tarah kood kood ke chalega so this is your equinus patient will walk on the heel part calcaneus patient is walking over the medial border of the foot that is a valgus patient is walking on the lateral border of the foot that is a varus and the most common congenital problem is talipus equino varus patient is walking on the toe along the outer border okay so you must count this all the clinical situation now can you see there is a one spring ligament short note remember spring ligament is attached in between the calcaneum and the navicular bone so this is the calcaneo navicular ligament first question remember it is supporting the medial longitudinal arch okay it is supporting the head of the talus next mcq it is just below the head of the talus so i told you the four lines all are important spring ligament ask in your exam now in the same way another support for the our arches of the foot medial longitudinal arch it is having the delta shaped ligament deltoid ligament this deltoid ligament is having the two part superficial part and deep part superficial part is having the anterior fiber between the tibia and the navicular bone so tibio navicular ligament yes next is attached to the our calcaneum so tibio calcaneum ligament next is attached to the our talus posteriorly so this is a tibio talar ligament posterior side and deep fiber is attached to the anterior side i am just making one notes for all of you and then we will see the mcqs sir this is a short note yes yes doctors doctor punit good evening beta good evening so what i want to tell you deltoid ligament sir there are the two parts superficial and deep love from jpmc bharatpur rajasthan thank you beta so here the students from the uh, rajasthan they are here yesterday the students from the sms jaipur joined so thank you to all my dear rajasthani students the pink city jaipur i visited last month three times jaipur city very beautiful i went for the nahargarh kila bahut sundar hai shish mahal jal mahal और हवा महल हवा महल तो बहुत प्यारा नजर आता है रात के समय की लाइटनिंग में सो माय हम्बल लव एंड रिस्पेक्ट फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द राजस्थान जयपुर अवर एंटायर पोर्शन ओके थैंक यू बेटा सुपरफिशियल पार्ट अगेन आई वांट टू टेल यू देयर आर द अवर एंट्री फाइबर मिडिल फाइबर एंड पोस्ट्री फाइबर एंट्री फाइबर कौन था सर इट वॉज अटैच बिटवीन द टीबिया एंड द नेविकुलर बोन टीबियो नेविकुलर देन मिडिल फाइबर इट वॉज अटैच टू द टीबिया एंड कैलकेनियम टीबियो कैलकेनियल पोस्टी फाइबर बिटवीन द टीबिया एंड द टेलस इट वॉज पोस्टली सो पोस्टी टीबियो टेलर बट ऑन द डीप साइड यू विल सी द टीबियो टेलर लिगामेंट येस बट इट इज एंटीरियर साइड गेटिंग द पॉइंट येस हिमांशु बंजारी गुड इवनिंग सर Yes, so students from the Rajnand Gaon. Yes, Himanshu, I miss you, beta. You are from the second batch. I think Himanshu and your one more friend. You were coming personally to learn the anatomy at my home. 
सो हिमांशु आई रिमेंबर टू ऑल द राजनांद गांव मेडिकल कॉलेज येस आई वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म यू राजनांद गांव मेडिकल कॉलेज आई थिंक स्टूडेंट्स दे आर नॉट अवेयर लेकिन जब बेटा वो कॉलेज बन रहा था तो हम पांच लोग थे जिन्होंने उसकी बिल्डिंग को रखने के लिए जी तोड़ मेहनत की थी डायरेक्टर ऑफ मेडिकल एजुकेशन में हम लोग काम किया करते थे और राजनांद गांव का जो पहला जो इंस्पेक्शन है उसमें हम लोगों ने अटेंड किया था और उसके लिए काफ़ी दौड़ भाग काफ़ी मंत्रालय की ये दौड़ भाग काफ़ी पॉलिटिकल अप्रोच और ग्राउंड लेवल पे जो मेहनत होती है वो सारी चीज़ें हम लोगों ने की थी तो मिस यू ऑल द राजनांद गांव डियर स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू बेटा ओके सो नाउ कैन यू टेल मी द आंसर फॉर द योर एम एग्जाम्स फॉर योर वाइवा एग्जाम लिगामेंट्स नॉट अटैच टू द टैलस यस लिगामेंट बिलो द हेड ऑफ द टैलस एंड लिगामेंट सपोर्टिंग हेड ऑफ द टैलस रिमेंबर द आंसर इज अवर स्प्रिंग लिगामेंट स्प्रिंग लिगामेंट स्प्रिंग लिगामेंट सबका मालिक एक है स्प्रिंग लिगामेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गेटिंग द पॉइंट नाउ टेल मी द आंसर विच लिगामेंट कनेक्ट्स मीडियल यूनिफॉर्म टू द बेस ऑफ द सेकंड मार्ट टार्सल इट इज द आई नाइसी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू पैटर्न क्वेश्चन यस ट्राइट क्वेश्चन Yes, Nishant. I reply at the WhatsApp. There are the total eight thousand students in my uh, mobile and the WhatsApp group. Uh, maybe uh, any message are missed, but uh, one day, two day, or three day after, I never miss any message. I reply them. Okay. Please ping me again and also tell me uh, your name. Okay, Nishant Sharma. I will remember and I will reply. Okay. Unfortunately, maybe I missed the message. Sorry for that. ओके, सो कैन यू टेल मी द आंसर आंसर हियर इज द लिस्ट फ्रैंक लिगामेंट सी ये बेटा एक नया क्वेश्चन आया हुआ है एम्स के लिए देर इज द वन लिगामेंट बिटवीन द मीडियल यूनिफॉर्म एंड द सेकेंड मेटर टार्सल बोन दिस इज अवर लिस्ट फ्रैंक लिगामेंट विच इज कॉमनली डैमेज इन अवर फुट इंजुरी सो दिस दर्थोपेटिस इंटीग्रेशन ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक फॉर द लास्ट पार्ट ज्वाइंट्स ऑफ द लोअर लिम एंड देन वेसल्स सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड आई टोल्ड यू यस्टरडे any time any joint is asked you have to give the introduction definition type of the joint articulating surface aapko aur kaun si heading use karni hai sir stability factor ligament then relation then artery vein nerve lymphatic also you can count and at the last last you have to say about the applied aur beta maine aapko bataya tha ki applied mein kya kehna hai sir arthritis सर साइनोल फ्लूड एग्जामिनेशन सर यू हैव टू से अबाउट द अवर यस डिसलोकेशन एंड सबलक्सेशन सो स्टार्ट द अवर हिप जॉइंट यस 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 निशांत आई विल एड यस्टर्डे वन स्टूडेंट आल्सो मैसेज आई एडेड हिम ओके सो व्हाट आई वांट टू से सर देयर इज अवर यस यस I'm 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 sharing I'm sharing the one WhatsApp group na. No? I'm I'm sharing one WhatsApp group for all of you. Yes, Nishant did the message. Yes, 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 yes. I'm I'm sharing. Yes, Nishant. From the Bharatpur, Rajasthan. I'm I'm sharing the link to all the students for the first time BBS na. No? Please only the first MBBS students. Please join this group now. I am sharing the WhatsApp group immediately. i am sharing at uh, i got the link i am sharing here Uh, I'm I'm requesting to the technical team. They are sharing the WhatsApp group, na? Okay, so you can join there. Please share only to the first year students, beta. Okay, Nishant, please share to your college group so that all the students can join there. 
ओके टेक्निकल टीम दे आर ऑल्सो शेयरिंग हियर ओके यस सो यू गॉट द लिंक बेटर प्लीज प्लीज ऑल द फर्स्ट एम बीबी स्टूडेंट प्लीज ज्वाइन दिस ग्रुप ओके एंड आई विल रिक्वेस्ट टू द टीम यस इट इज ऑल्सो पिंड सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच द टेक्निकल टीम ओके यस थैंक यू शुभम थैंक यू फॉर योर काइंड सपोर्ट ओके सो यस कम टू दिस टॉपिक आई वॉज शोइंग यू आई वॉज शोइंग यू दिस अवर हिप ज्वाइंट पार्ट सर दिस इज द हिप ज्वाइंट इट इज द बॉल एंड सॉकेट वेराइटी साइनोवेल ज्वाइंट कैन यू सी द our acetabulum cavity is articulating with the head of the femur so this is the our acetabular cavity which is horse shoe shaped semi lunar shaped so you can describe this all the facts okay sir now what are the different things sir here is the head neck greater trochanter lesser trochanter so you can draw the diagram here is the our fovea sir you can see there is our articulating surface which is semi lunar and it is there is a gap which is filled by the our transverse acetabular ligament the stability factor now more thing definitely as usual all the joint is having the fibrous capsule so you can see here the fibrous capsule okay the head is having the hyaline cartilage correct sir and you can see the very thin vessels are present at the neck remember your clinical these vessels are easily getting rupture so there is the one clinical point a vascular necrosis getting the point so this is the one very very important factor now look here what are the stability factor very very important sir there is the ilium ischium pubis so ligament is attached from the ilium to the femur iliofemoral ligament ischium to the femur sir that is the our ischiofemoral ligament and pubic bone to the femur pubofemoral ligament so you can remember in this way the strongest ligament i am not talking about the strongest tendon this is the strongest ligament of the body that is the iliofemoral ligament which is inverted v or inverted y shaped remember this is attached to the anterior inferior iliac spine the upper band is attached to the greater trochanter upper part the lower band is attached to the greater trochanter lower part okay this is also known as the ligament of bigello the strongest ligament of the body remember it is on the front side so it prevents the hyper extension of the hip joint it prevents the backward falling of the body so these are the two use whatever i told you they all are important make pause make your notes it is very important now can you see there is the our ligament which is in between the ischial tuberosity and the femur so this is the ischiofemoral ligament and this is the our hip joint diagram can you see this is our yes hip joint which is having the our acetabular labrum and then you can see sir there is our fibrous capsule getting the point now there is our gluteus maximus yes sir we had seen under cover of the gluteus maximus gluteus medius and the minimus then we had seen there is a pier shaped muscle piriformis do you know just below to it there is a sciatic nerve yes we had seen the obturator internus with the two gamma lie so beautiful and on the front side sir there is our femoral triangle do you remember femoral triangle a p p i adductor longus pectin is sauce measure and ilicus they are combining together and making the ilio sauce and the content of the femoral triangle you can draw sir these are the femoral vein femoral artery and the femoral nerve here is our anterior superior spine so you can draw the sartorius tensor facial artery and rectus femoris structures yes at the down side sir there is a obturator externus and our lbm muscle do you remember adductor longus so this is the adductor brevis this is the adductor magnus i told you the sequence yes l b m adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus how you can remember one another way i want to tell you see here this is our yes chance roshan chehra ye chance roshan chehra hai okay sir and here is the hair style of this girl yes sir ye hair style hai and these are ear rings yes aur ye ear rings se lamba sa structure latak raha hai yes girls they are using the clip so this is the one small funthru clip hair pin band you can remember 
okay so in this funny way you can remember these structures also first mbbs k nibba nibbi aise hi padhte hain yaad rakhte hain what you have to remember what are the our different superior relation just like the our shoulder joint yahan se line kicho whatever the structures above superior relation yahan se line kicho whatever the structures below inferior relation yahan se line kicho whatever the structures on the front end relation yahan se line kicho whatever the structures on the back side posterior relation so this is the way that's why i want to tell you you have to practice for the diagram diagram is the anatomy anatomy is the diagram yes this is the same diagram in the linear way you can practice this diagram with the help of the gluteus maximus under cover yes structures having the gluteus maximus same diagram is here and now what are the different movement so try to understand sir there is a flexion so whatever the muscle which is crossing from the front they will cause flexion who will cause the flexion sir iliosaurus muscle will cause the flexion extension whatever the muscle on the back side so gluteus maximus will cause the back side movement yes adduction so adductor muscle adductor longus brevis magnus they will cause adduction abduction i told you the proper abductor mechanism is shown by the gluteus medius and the minimus yes the medial rotation by the our gluteal muscle and the outer rotation by the obturator muscle so this is the way how you can remember now this is the your clinical point can you see the our head of the femur is at the proper position but here is the acetabular cavity and the head of the femur dislocated yes what will be the nerve supply jo nerve yahan rahegi wo supply karegi femoral nerve on the front obturator nerve on the medial and behind the sciatic nerve so this all the nerves are supplying the hip joint na now clinical subluxation dislocation hip joint arthritis and also there is a hip replacement surgery so these points you have to describe in one line at the level of the first mbbs exam okay now we are going to talk about the knee joint again knee joint is most complex joint of the body first line second line yes remember which type of the joint it is bicondylar synovial joint it is not the hinge joint because here flexion extension as well as locking and unlocking movement but a hinge joint mein sirf uni axial movement hota hai like the flexion extension but here the different kind of the movement flexion and extension both as well as locking and unlocking okay now this is the most complex joint of the body why because the three bones are participating here how see here sir this is our you can say the femur patella and the tibia remember fibula never participate fibula ko gap kar do so this is having the participation by the three bones and now in between them there is a menisci so it is dividing the knee joint into the upper and the lower compartment correct sir so there is the again problem fine so this is the most complex joint of the body now look here you can see that there is our menisci which is dividing the knee joint into the our upper compartment and lower compartment yes ise kehte hain garibi mein aata gila ek to teen teen bone aur alag se fir isme compartment now you can see there are ligament what are the different ligament sir towards the tibia there is a tibial collateral ligament which is having the deep part which is having the superficial part and towards the fibula there is the fibular collateral ligament ligament of the knee joint yes definitely you have to say about the fibrous capsule which is lined by the synovial sheath okay sir can you see there is the intra capsular intra synovial one muscle that is the popliteus muscle this is very very important now integrate when this popliteus will contract this our yes lateral meniscus will shift little bit so lateral meniscus is not fixed but medial meniscus is fixed that's why in ortho you will learn medial meniscus is having more probability to get crushed injury in between the femur and the tibia okay so these are the points which you have to remember now look here when we are cutting and observing the knee joint then you will see the different attachment in between the two condyle okay yes you will learn the mnemonic the medical college lucknow lucknow medical college it is important yes m for you can see m for medial meniscus c for cruciate ligament l for lateral meniscus 
Yes, this all are anteriorly. So you will say anterior horn of the medial meniscus, anterior cruciate ligament, and our yes anterior horn of lateral meniscus. And here are the our all the posterior posterior. Yes, Lucknow Medical College. L for lateral meniscus, M for medial meniscus, and C for cruciate ligament. So in this way you can remember the short note for the medial meniscus and the lateral meniscus also. Yes, NEET Medico WhatsApp link we already shared and remember this link is only for the first MBBS students. Okay. Now see, this is our yes sir femur. Here is the our yes sir tibia. So you can see there is a crossing ligament, cruciate ligament. Remember the anterior cruciate ligament, it is coming from the front. Then it is running upward backward and laterally your mnemonic is anterior cruciate ligament runs laterally so your mnemonic is alu okay and it is getting attachment yes it is going laterally so it will attach to the our medial condyle on the lateral surface while the posterior cruciate ligament yes your mnemonic is prime minister pm it is starting from the posterior side then pm m for medially it will run upward forward and medially on the medial side, sir, there is a medial condyle. It will get attachment to the medial condyle on the lateral surface. So, ACL, PCL, they are asked. Remember, ACL, PCL rupture is common. Your mnemonic is ALU PM. Our Prime Minister, sir, who is not selling tea, he was ALU. So, this is the one funny way how you can remember. Yes, you can see, this is the patella. There is a quadriceps femoris. And it is making the ligamentum patelli. Getting the point? So here is our patella bone. Fine. Now you can observe this menisci with the help of the diagram also. Yes, try to understand. This is the section. So you can see the knee joint where you can observe the medial meniscus and the lateral meniscus. Medial meniscus is oval shaped while the lateral meniscus is T shaped. So you can observe the same points, sir. This is our medical, then college, then Lucknow. Yes, sir. Medical College Lucknow. And here you can see the Lucknow Medical College. Yes, sir. This is our Lucknow Medical College. So this mnemonic will help you. Both the menisci are attached with the help of the transverse ligament. Yes, anteriorly there is a ligamentum patelli. These are the relation. Now at the posterior side. You will see the AVN. Do you remember the popliteal fossa, sir? AVN. Yes, popliteal artery, popliteal vein, and the our tibial nerve. And you can see the suprolateral bond is formed by the biceps femoris. You can see the lateral of the gastrocnemius. Yes, our medial side bond is formed by the medial of the gastrocnemius and semi membranosus, semi tendinosus. So all the boundaries of the our popliteal fossa you can draw here. Getting the point? So these are the our different facts which are related to the knee joint part you can say the relation now the moment definitely there is our extension by the quadriceps femoris yes sir there is a flexion by the back side muscle by our biceps femoris semitrans semimemorous popliteus yes locking remember locking is done by the vastus medialis or quadriceps femoris unlocking i told you the uttar pradesh up u for unlocking p for Popliteus. Okay. In the similar way, the medial rotation is done by the muscle which is responsible for the unlocking and the lateral rotation is done by the lateral side muscle biceps femoris. So, simple way you can remember. Okay. Now, at the last, we are going to talk regarding the arteries and the veins of the lower limb. Yes. For the arteries, I am showing you the three-dimensional orientation. See here. The arteries of the lower limb. Can you see? This is our common iliac artery, which is dividing into the external and internal iliac artery. Sir, external iliac artery, it is running at the our thigh and making the femoral artery. Now, this femoral artery is running backside into the our popliteal fossa. It is making the popliteal artery, and this popliteal artery is dividing into the anterior tibial, and here is our posterior tibial. At our yes, this cerebellum app there is a one session entire body arterial tree in three dimensional way you can catch that video so this is our posterior tibial artery look here there is our entry tibial artery this entry tibial artery is continuing here 
एंड मेकिंग द डॉर्सल डॉर्सल पेडिस आर्टरी सर दिस दवर डॉर्सल इज पेडिस आर्टरी यस सर एंटीटिबिल आर्टरी इज कंटिन्यू एज द डॉर्सल इज पेडिस आर्टरी दिस इज दवर डॉर्सल इज पेडिस आर्टरी रिमेंबर दिस डॉर्सल इज पेडिस आर्टरी इज द मोस्ट कॉमन आर्टरी व्हिच इज इजीली गेटिंग ब्लॉक इट इज रनिंग ओवर द आवर नेविकुलर बोन मीडियल क्यूनिफॉर्म एंड इट इज एंडिंग एट द फर्स्ट वेब स्पेस प्रोक्सिमल पार्ट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट यस वाइल द पोसिटिबिल आर्टरी कैन यू सी this artery is dividing into the medial plantar and the lateral plantar artery okay so these are the our different arteries why we have to study yes these are the our uh, just diagrammatic presentation one quick revision can you see this is our extrailiac artery continuing as the femoral artery this femoral artery is running here and it will make the popliteal artery sir it is dividing into the lateral circumflex and medial circumflex it is giving the branches ascending branch transverse branch and descending branch and also you can observe it is coming down it is giving the multiple perforating arteries okay so just remember the femoral artery it is the main artery of the our lower limb which will continue and it will make the popliteal artery can you see the popliteal artery it is running in the popliteal fossa it is giving the superior medial genicular artery superior lateral genicular artery inferior medial genicular artery inferior lateral genicular artery it will give one middle genicular artery also very easy then this popliteal artery is dividing into the anterior and posterior tibial artery so simple terminal branches now see here the dorsal spadis artery remember anterior tibial artery just in between the medial and lateral malleolus it is continuing as dorsal spadis artery this dorsal spadis artery is starting just in between the two malleoli and ending at the proximal part of first intermetatarsal space here it is giving the arch like artery arcuate artery why it is important remember the clinical integration due to the gangrene due to the burger disease due to the thromboangitis obliterans yes due to the smoking these lower limb vessels can be blocked so there is the gangrene situation yes in this situation you will see in pathology there is the obstruction of the blood vessel totally this is the our histology yes blood vessel and at the lumen there is the thrombus formation this is the thromboangitis obliterans that's why you have to learn this arterial supply now we are going to look for the venous drainage very most important because of there is a one disease known as varicose vein getting the point now look for this the lower limb vein you can divide into the superficial vein deep vein and the connecting vein between them that is the our different perforators agree sir so the different deep vein easily you can remember just opposite to the artery sir dorsal spadis vein then anterior tibial vein posterior tibial vein these are uniting making the popliteal vein then it is making the femoral vein yes it is making the our yes you can say external iliac vein which is uniting with the internal iliac vein making the common iliac vein and now it is continuing as the inferior vena cava okay so these are the points which you have to remember so the superficial vein see here what are the different points sir the superficial vein there is a dorsal venous arch yes sir the medial side it is uniting with the our medial marginal vein so there is a formation of the great saphenous vein next point it is palpable just in front of the medial malleolus next point it is running along the medial border of the leg next it is winding back side and making the roof of the popliteal fossa next then it is coming front of the thigh and running at the roof of our femoral triangle yes then it is piercing the cribriform fascia and opening into the femoral vein complete means whatever the length of the lower limb that is the length of the great saphenous vein so you have to remember the great saphenous vein or long saphenous vein it is beginning i told you position yes how many walls 15 to 20 it is accompanied by the saphenous nerve the neat pg 2021 and 22 question they ask from the your first mbbs इसलिए बेटा फिर से कहता हूं अगर आपका फर्स्ट टाइम भी स्ट्रॉग है तो नीट पीजी आई एन आई सी टी एफ एम जी जो एग्जाम बोलो दुनिया का हर चीज क्रैक होगी यस इट इज एंडिंग एट द फेमोरल वेन गेटिंग द पॉइंट शॉर्ट सेफेनस वेन देन यू विल सी सर इट इज स्टार्टिंग आई विल टेल यू द शॉर्ट सेफेनस वेन 
yes it is starting from the lateral side it is meeting with the your marginal vein lateral side margin lateral marginal vein and lateral end it is meeting making the stiffness vein it is running behind the lateral malleus and then it is running straight it is running straight in the posterior side it is running the it is making the roof of popliteal fossa and then opening into the our same popliteal vein and then draining into the femoral vein simple okay so what you have to remember short stiffness vein i told you the formation it is posterior to the lateral malleus yes here was the 20 valve so you can remember the 10 valves here was the stiffness nerve here you can remember the sural nerve it is accompanied by the sural nerve yes that was opening into the femoral vein while the short stiffness vein it opens into the popliteal vein getting the point okay so these are the points now the vein which is connecting the superficial vein and deep vein they are known as perforator can you see sir there is a skin then within the superficial fascia you can see the superficial vein then you can see the muscles and here are the deep vein so the veins which are connecting the superficial and deep vein these are known as perforator when there is a contraction of this muscle the veins will pump the blood into the our inferior vena cava venous return will be maintained and it will help in the cardiac output yes it is the respiratory mechanism yes uh, your it is the your uh, help in the cardiac output integrating with the physiology okay now there are the lots of perforator yes you can remember in the leg sir there is the medial perforator three medial perforator upper middle and lower fine and on the lateral side only one perforator what is the perforator which is communicating the superficial and the yes deep veins there are the two types of the perforator direct and indirect this is our inner direct because it is passing through the muscle but there is a one more perforator which will pass without which which will not pass through the muscle that is our indirect perforator okay so these are our leg perforator one more perforator which is below the knee joint so you will say below knee perforator also you will say the our perforator which is opening directly into the popliteal vein yes the short stiffness vein directly opening into the our popliteal vein so this is the direct perforator another direct perforator sir long stiffness vein it is directly opening opening into the femoral vein so this is the direct perforator the long stiffness vein and the short stiffness vein these are direct perforator as well as superficial vein yes rest all in this image they are in a direct perforator this was the long question in our rims college last year first question 15 marks so do this question carefully also there is the one perforator in the adductor canal so you can remember the name adductor canal perforator you have to draw the diagram okay now what is the clinical importance so there are the many many diseases like the iron overload disease hemochromatosis in final year you will learn there is the mutation in the hfe gene which is located in the chromosome number six due to it there is the excessive iron deposition in the body yes it is getting deposition in the liver liver cirrhosis it is getting deposition in the heart cardiomyopathy it is getting deposition in the joint chondrocalcinosis so for this what we have to do we have to cut the vein and we have to remove the blood so this is known as phlebotomy phlebo means vein tommy means cutting we have to cut the vein and we have to remove the blood yes we are cutting the vein veni section also yes remember this all procedures are done in our great saphenous vein and one very important use old use coronary artery bypass grafting this great saphenous vein was used so clinical points we are cutting the great stiffness vein, even the short stiffness vein, and we are applying in the our heart. Suppose here is a blockage, so you are applying here. So this is our use of the great stiffness vein, coronary artery bypass grafting. But remember, now this is not done because how you can replace the artery with the vein? Yes, veins are having the walls, so it is not a good thing what we are doing we are using the arteries which is the best artery for the coronary artery bypass grafting remember the left internal mammillary artery yes it is the best but even one choice fine now for the iron overload we have to cut this vein and we have to remove the blood so we are cutting the vein that's why phlebo and we are 
कटिंग दैट्स वॉट टॉमी वेन मीन्स फ्लेबो टॉमी मीन्स कटिंग एना टॉमी काटो और देखो वेन एवर दे टॉमी वर्ड मीन्स कटिंग ओके सो ड्यूरिंग दिस कटिंग रिमेंबर द सेफेनस नर्व इज गेटिंग डैमेज ओके सो दीज आर द पॉइंट विच यू टू रिमेंबर नाउ टेल मी द एंसर कमेंट एट द बॉक्स फीमोरल आर्ट इज पॉलिबल अगेंस्ट येस आंसर इज अगेंस्ट द हेड ऑफ द फीमर दिस इज द वेस्कुलर साइन ऑफ द नैरथ यू विल लर्न इन ऑर्थोपेडिक्स पॉपुलेटल आर्ट इज पॉलिबल अगेंस्ट लोअर बॉट ऑफ द पॉपुलेटियस डॉर्स विच पेडिस आर्ट इज पॉलिबल अगेंस्ट द नेविकुलर बोन इवन यू कैन से इंटरमीडिएट क्यूनिफॉर्म पोशिटिवल आर्ट इज पॉलिबल just behind the medial malleolus against the tendo calcaneus okay great saphenous vein is related which which nerve answer is your saphenous nerve short saphenous vein is related which with which nerve answer is your sural nerve okay a patient who underwent varicose vein surgical treatment now presents with loss of sensation in the medial leg which of the following is injured in this patient need pg 2021 and 22 you have to answer at the comment box okay and yes at the end man needs lot of difficulties in life because they are necessary to enjoy the success the great quotation by our dr apj abdul kalam sir so thank you very much god bless you all hope this session will be very very useful for all of you again i want to tell you jitne topic beta humne aapko bataye hain almost all the topics we discussed here okay so if in a doubt please ask yes sir again i want to tell you the 80% question from the upper limb and the lower limb from our discussed this bullet train first mbbs session the femoral triangle femoral hernia femoral nerve structures under cover of this all so you can take the screenshot this all are the our different points so any any doubt beta please ask please ask hope you all enjoyed this session okay any kind of the help you can stay connected with us we shared the whatsapp link also okay so this is all about the our today's session okay so thank you for your support sirf hangama khada karna hamara maqsad nahi koshish hai ki surat badalni chahiye hamare seene mein nahi tumhare seene mein sahi kahin bhi aag lekin ye aag jalni chahiye so this was the our anatomy session now you will get our physiology and the biochemistry sessions also so keep preparing we will do the our upcoming session for the thorax then head neck and the neuroanatomy in upcoming time okay any kind of the doubt you can connect with us whatsapp group we shared with all of you okay so thank you very much god bless you all i request to the technical team to close the session thank you good night shabakhair